Hello guys, here we are, Leon Nick, and welcome to the first FIU Smash Bros. tournament hosted by the Student Union. Hmm? Hello everybody, we are here to do quite a, quite an interesting tournament. This is our first time we've ever had a, a Smash Bros. tournament, Smash Bros. Ultimate tournament, on with a brand new esports arena that we have on campus. Yeah, for sure. Even even if with the current circumstances, we managed to bring all our players here, and we're gonna have a great time. We have are here in the game in the game arena, and we're ready to see these players participate in our tournament. Oh yeah, and as you can see on screen, our c combatants are already picking their characters. One of them labeled on Doctor Mario should be a very mm -hmm. interesting uh, character choice. All right, so yeah, we see Polar picking Doctor Mario. Meanwhile, we're waiting for the starter to pick his. And we, he's gonna go with oh, so we're all smart. Oh, Tun Link. All right. Ooh, Pick, very going with the, dark style. Mm -hmm. And as we go ahead and head into our very first match of the night, Doctor Mario versus Dark Toon Link. Yes, and we, all right, side to side. Mario playing and both on each other. Oh, there we go. Getting some traits. Both sides playing defensive at first, seeing what the other's moves are going to be. Yeah. Paul is playing more aggressive as he's trying to, like, he uses the pills, but at the same time, he, he goes in to get some traits. But right now, Mario does have a lead, but which quickly, lo but Toon Link quickly, quickly catches up. Mm-hmm. Oh, whiffs. Oh, but not punish from the players. Both whiffing their punches left and right. Oh, but we see Mario get a small throw. Uses his spill correctly to send Toon, Toon Link out. Both fighters are just dancing around each other, trying to connect any of their attacks. Yeah, I think it's just about like the kid, more towards Toon Link than Dr. Mario, that he has more tools to sun him out with like the boomerang, the arrows. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Dr. Mario can just throw peels and just run in. Now, right now, we're on a very plain map. There's mm -hmm. literally not much the players can move around on. Mm -hmm. All we have is two little tiny stages on the outside of the, uh, the bigger map. Mm -hmm. For them to actually move around, so yeah. it's a pretty f even battlefield. Mm -hmm. yeah, but what is interesting about this stage, like, it's just like how they are outside, so you can, uh, um, how's it go? Alter around how much the players play uh, outside of the stage. All right. Is this the map from Animal Crossing? Because that's what it looks mm -hmm. like. Yeah, 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 it's an Animal Crossing map. And the interesting thing about this, like those small platforms to all the viewers, they they move around, so you won't see them in the same place always. As you see, like now we have a, uh, I believe now we have four platforms instead of the two. Oh, and as Toon Link loses the first stock mm -hmm. of the night. All right, Polar right now going with a lead, but gets up there by Toon Link. Could almost get stuck right here. Doctor Mario has a slight lead on Link, but right now he's very injured, and any big hit from Link will take him out of the game. Exactly. However, with the how's it go? With the Rage right now, he has a that percentage. He can also rack up some good big damage, as you see right now, 56. Oh. All right. Any damage Mario can get on Link right now is gonna be really huge for him. Exactly, he's extending his lead while not losing the second. Almost gets another one with that. Up to up, throw. It's very close call on Link as he almost gets knocked out for the second time. Exactly, good taking. Oh, there we go, the pills. Dr. Mario putting on the pressure. That was really risky from Toon Link. We're doing that up the, he went from straight to free fall and Ooh, very close. Oh, uh, that should almost kill. All right. Tilling still fighting, still sitting the stage. Oh, and that will Ooh. do for it. And Dr. Mario up three to one on Toon Link. Yeah. Toon Link needs... Oh, okay, what can I say? Coming to his cars as soon as we say <laughs> that, gets hit out of the stage. All right. All right, this story put in, how's it called? Bringing down um, the match closer to his favor, but however, he needs to get another start from Polar. Oh, Dr. Mario only needs to knock out Link one more time, while Link needs to knock out Mario two more times. So uh, any damage Mario can do with this stock he has right now just increases the lead he has over in general. Oh, no, for all. sure. No, like, just getting those two stocks uh, without losing his first one was a great trade in his favor. Mm-hmm. All right. And that looks like it's going to wrap up our first game of the night as Dr. Mario takes it from Toon Link. Yeah. We're going to 1-0, and pretty sure we 
Should, uh, we should go to the second game. Let's see what's gonna happen. If we're gonna see a uh, change of character or anything. As our combatants are going ahead and picking the next field. Oh, we go to Final Destination. What can I say? A classic, One. a stable from from Melee. Well, we've seen it. Let's see. Probably the staple point map of this game. As our new, as our contestants are picking their second batch of characters. Mm -hmm. Oh, is Polar gonna go? It's gonna go Ridley and Zelda. Interesting choice. Polar picking Ridley and Destroyer picking Zelda. All right, there we go. We are here in Final Destination. Polar here right now has one game against Destroyer. We are one zero. And let's see. Here we just have both combatants just testing the waters with how the other person plays mm -hmm. their character. Trying not to engage too hard. Just kind of dancing around each other. Yeah, take out dancing around. Just Solo just moves around Ridley and gets some inside racking up some damage. Mm. Alright. Alright, so Zelda tries to go back to the ledge, but can't do it because of the fireballs from Ridley. Goes to the cent mid stage. Mm. That's gonna be an early stock lost on Destroyer. Yeah. Yeah, no. No, with Polar, he's, he's been a solid player right now from what, what we've seen in the last two sets. Right now, getting, a, getting his stocks early without losing much. Oh, his percentage. Oh, yeah. Very close there, but off the edge. But he looks like he recovered quite nicely. Yeah. All right. Yeah, the game plan with, uh, with Zelda, I guess it's kind of difficult here. I don't know. Not 100% sure. It's just like trying to stun Ridley out using her, how's it called, uh, Knight and her Fireballs. But... Really, you can find and find his way around really easy. Just flying around, dashing in. As the destroyer just tries to get like a good hit on onto Polar, but sadly nothing. Can't really land any powerful finishing attacks to get him off of his th three stocks. Yeah. And right now he's a, a high and dangerous percentage. But if you oh. look, Zelda's also there, and there you go. Ridley up three to one. That rage coming in clutch from Polar to get more damage, but the Uptree will do it, taking Polar out of his first stock of this round. This is exactly what happened in round one. Oh yeah, exactly, same thing. We, we come and tell about his lead, and he just loses it. <laughs> hmm, right now they're just dodging, trying to hit each other. Oh, there we go. Destroyer. Some fireballs, but whips it up there. Destroyer needs to come in clutch here. He's... He's definitely down quite a bit on Ridley, so he needs to try and sure. not take as much damage while dealing a lot of damage back. Ah, uh, but that but will sadly, do that it. looks like won't be happening in this round. As Ridley being one of the new characters to be introduced into Smash, takes round two. Yeah. As we go ahead and everyone's getting ready for their next match. Yeah, for sure. Alright, we can go there again. The Fox stage. So, uh, what do you feel about like the last match that we just saw? I guess like, like, re recover just some analysis. Destroyer did a really good job in keeping like his damage low while mm -hmm. avoiding any like m critical attacks from uh, Polar. No, the thing is like 
It probably like Polar has su and Ron did such a good performance just getting those leads and just getting so much damage out while also not losing it and then and you know just keeping up that lead against Destroyer. Oh yeah. Unfortunately, the defensive side uh, that he used tried to use uh, Zelda against Ridley didn't work out as. Uh, Polar Dodge most of most of his fireballs and knights. So the sun is trying to didn't work out too much. Looks like we are getting a new group of fighters coming in with Tellos and his opponent gonna be Franco. Yeah. That should be that should be their next match. Uh, just to be, uh, last match, we're doing a first to two until we get to the, uh, until we get to top eight. So. All right. So first rounds for everyone is going to be the best of three. First, of two, first person to win two of those matches gets to move on to the next round. Right. Correct. Exa yeah. So currently right now, we're just going to do first to two. So whoever two wins two matches right now, move, moves along and they'll, they'll play the losers gets, uh, sent to the. Loses bracket. Yes, this is a double elimination tournament. So even if you get, even if one of your favorites gets uh, knocked out in the first round, they still have a chance coming back in the losers round. Yeah. However, they cannot mess up one more time because messing up one more time would mean that they get out of the tournament this time for sure. As it looks like both Telos and Franco are ready to go with their match. Mm-hmm. as we go through a little bit more setting changes. Oh yeah, for sure, you gotta get everything ready. You gotta make sure that both players are playing in, uh, you know, the correct setup for the controller, depending on what they, uh, they play. They have the, they establish the rules, stage selection. Oh, and now we look like we're going to Battlefield. As we move on to this first round of the second match of the night. All right. Ooh, Telus versus Violet, okay. Ooh. So Bowser versus Violet. Personally, if I had to get out of my bias, I would root Bowser because he's one of my favorite characters. But we are here to commentate, so let's start this match. Hopefully Bowser can give some... Uh, hopefully this player can give Bowser some love. Mm -hmm. Bowser is actually one of the best, uh, if I'm correct, um, heavyweights. Because he, well, he's like the heaviest one. He's also like, he has a bunch of mobility that makes him really good. And this stage is really good for Bowser. Oh. oh, and a very fast opening as Bowser takes al already takes a stock off of Byleth. Mm -hmm. It's very oh, strong defensive and offensive play coming off of Bowser. My God, the gravity just getting that damage. Oh, gets a parry, but all B from Bowser out of shield too good to be just parry. And gets another stock. Is already down with 3 1. Bowser's hardly taken any damage. Yeah. Showing that he is a boss. Uh, as he's getting that damage. Now, any of you who have been following the Ninten Nintendo Twitter account has seen uh, what the new Bowser looks like coming in, in the new DLC or game Bowser's Fury. Mm -hmm. And this player right now is demonstrating that to a T. Yeah, showing that Bowser's Fury as he's. As he's starting now finding lead. Oh, there we go. Up throw. That cool kill. Oh, doesn't get the conversion. Ooh. Oh, but the down B from Bowser from Super Mario Bros. 3 gets <laughs> around. As he takes round one, not even losing a stock. Yeah, no, three. three. Sadly, but Franco got three stock. All right. Let's see, let's move to our second game. See, Franco can, uh, can take this back. All right, let's see where we're at our destination. All right. Oh. Ooh. Now, we were talking about this a little bit beforehand, but figure eight circuit, definitely one of the more fun maps yeah, to play, even if it can be a little rage-inducing for yeah, some of the players. even if it's not like violent compared, it's kind of funny seeing the cars just running around, hitting the players because you, you couldn't see them. You see the shy guys running out, and it looked like we were Newport, Newport City from... I believe that should be the mother games. 
fun for everyone watching at home, mm -hmm. but probably the exact opposite for the actual players in game. Oh, for sure, yeah. But now we go to our actual Bible stage, and we see the team from Franco. Tell us he's staying with his Bowser, and Franco is speaking Solid Snake. Mm. All right, that can definitely help uh, Snake get out of that. Those punches as he stunned both him and Bowser. Oh, gets the throw. As Bowser being an absolute juggernaut on the battlefield. Sure. Snake really can't seem to find an opening on him besides getting a little damage here at a time. For sure. Oh, gets the parry. Okay, Diago, Diago parry. And... Bowser keeping Snake off of the ring as he goes ahead and takes the first stock. Yeah, normally you would think that, you know, Bowser should be the one getting juggled and everything. But I think uh, what it helps a lot with this three platform stage, it gives a lot of room for Bowser to not get juggled or have control of the stage. Oh. All right. Good uh, dodges from Snake as he tries to get in Bowser. Oh, okay. Both players kind of just jumping around each other, trying to connect anything. Ooh, as Snake very closely uh, manages to get something there. They tried to track him with his rocket, but misses too. Okay. Ooh, and Snake actually managed to take a stock off of Bowser. All right. Yeah, that's the first stock taken from Telus in this game, and as soon as I say that, Franklin is stuck. Right now, we are seeing Telus with a lead of two stocks and a huge percentage as he's barely taking any damage in his second stock. Tries to go for that command grab, but the fellas said, oh, whips of it gets cut off by Snake. Ooh, and oh, that looks like it's going to be it. Yeah. Gaston hits his final hit with his shell. That's it. As he proves why Bowser is the Koopa King. Oh, yeah, for sure. All right. So we should move along in the bracket. Uh, for all... For all Franco uh, fans, don't worry, you guys gonna see later, but right now he's moving to the loser's bracket. And yeah, all right, let's see. As we go ahead and get our next set of players in and ready to go for the next match. Now, all we got a little bit of time mm -hmm. uh, in between matches as both characters are get, uh, again their settings ready. Mm -hmm. Why don't we go ahead and talk a little bit about um, like the recent characters that were added to Smash? Oh, like the DLC? Oh, for sure. Yes. Uh, so let's start with our favorite boy, the definitely super kind in Sephiroth. I think it was a it was it was a cool addition. Probably one of the more iconic trailers coming out of this game. Mm -hmm. Probably one a lot of people are gonna remember. Oh, yeah, like, no, that, that trailer was now. really good. I mean, I got to give props to the Smash team. Like, the, all the animations for every single DLC reveal are on point. Great uh, character movement. The models are clean. The lighting, super good. What I really liked is mm -hmm. how in the Sephiroth trailer, mm -hmm. they essentially made the callback to the actual trailer to the game when it came out mm -hmm. with the whole everyone united against this one big enemy mm -hmm. and then Sephiroth just comes in and says no I'm, I'm gonna show you how it's done <laughs> exactly and cuts the thing in half oh for sure the other thing that that I always do with that humor that because you know some characters that are joining the Smash Bros 
are more mature than you would say Mario. Like, let's say, like, you know, Sephiroth, we have uh, Snake. That, you know, their games are not, like... A bunch of the final uh, Fire Emblem characters. Yeah, that, you know, normally they're playing it's not as, you know, E for everyone as, like, Mario's game are. Exactly. And you see Sephiroth's quote-unquote stabbing Mario, but yeah. you see he just hanging Mario from his overall. That, I think I think that's pretty funny. He's like, oh, no. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Calling a little bit back to Sephiroth's one of the more iconic uh, mm-hmm. moments in his own game. But, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I know what Definitely you Definitely have to go a little bit of PG on Nintendo's part for that oh, one. Oh, for sure. The trailer. Need to, need to give that Nintendo seal of approval so we can't have Sephiroth doing any of his evil biddings in Smash. Uh, let's talk about Steve. What do you think about Steve and Alex being added to the game? Definitely I, uh Interesting addition. Well, I do have to say I did like mm-hmm. Sephiroth's uh, trailer better. Mm-hmm. There was just something about Mi- Minecraft Steve. Mm-hmm. Being, Minecraft Steve, being, yeah. We Minecraft have to say and cool Alex. Mm-hmm. Minecraft Steve and Alex being introduced to the game. Though, just like probably my, my personal favorite mm-hmm. of the new intro- introduced ones. Mm-hmm. But just like the way Mario just stumbles upon to the cave and he just sees Steve there. Yeah, yeah just casually. My name's like... Eh. As... When the trailer first uh, mm-hmm. released, I'm pretty sure it went ahead and blew a good amount of people away. Just seeing such a iconic video game character, mm-hmm. but he's so out of place in Smash, actually mm-hmm. be in Smash Brothers. Yeah, because the thing is, like, for me, it makes sense that he's on Smash. Because, you know, iconic game. He, like, Minecraft's been a popular game from the last, I don't know, 10 years? Something, something around that. Basically, but, yeah, lives. basically, and you know, at least everyone's like, oh, but now we start our match. We see NC Viper, we're gonna be Samus. As we go ahead and get Joker versus mm-hmm. Samus on the Pokemon Stadium map, personally, one of my favorites. Alright, let's see what we. Alright, we are now in Pokemon Stadium 2. It gives me a uh, call to to Melee. Oh. Joker also being one of the more recent characters that has been added to the game. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah DLC character. I mean, well, Samus has been here since the uh, Super Smash 64. Oh, but get it. Can go back to the stage and give that early stock. That's going to hurt as mm-hmm. Joker's pretty f- full on health. Yeah, I mean, Only he at 13%. Much. He just like throws Samus off the stage and she couldn't go back. You can do as much damage as you want to a person, but as long as they're not going over that stage, they're fine. Oh, yeah, for sure. As anyone who has played video games knows, the worst kind of enemy is fall mm-hmm. damage. Oh, my God. Yeah, but th- there's no fall damage. It's just an endless pit. Exactly. Mm-hmm. All right, right now. I saw... Uh, oh. Ooh. That's Samus, even in the mm-hmm. score, one, two to two. I, I run again in the same type of, uh, how's it called, elimination. Jake couldn't recover back to the stage. All right. Jake had to do some, le- uh, protecting the ledge and see. What... Oh. Samus so goes back to the ledge, get some stage control. Hmm. Ooh, hey. As Joker goes ahead and cleans up that. Little 1v1 they had as Samus resets down to zero, but only one stock left. Yeah. Now, the thing with Joker is when he gets Arsene activated, he becomes a whole different character. There's so much damage and so much potential. Just makes him way better. Oh, or if you want to call it a uh, Stan <laughs> <laughs> for our JoJo fran- uh, fans. All right, going back to our... Oh, all right. Fails to defend the ledge from Sam. Was trying to uh, suffer from recovery, but it doesn't matter. As both are playing neutral, neutral state. Joker goes in, gets a grab. As both characters are very injured, but Joker still has. Yeah, he has a stock. The other so stock. He doesn't have as much pressure as you would say Samus right now, because oh, mm. and yeah. As Joker it. takes round one of the match.
All right, let's see what we see. MC Viper goes to R Selena and Luma. Meanwhile, uh, Arsenic State um, goes to Robin. I'll uh, find him with client. Yeah. Oh, Sephiro. All right, take him with Sephiro. And goes with the Scarlet <laughs> Sephiro. This should be an interesting match. Oh, for sure. As we bring in the brand new character, Sephiroth. Mm hmm. With the skin that matters. Mm -hmm. The one that sh you should be playing. I mean, I'm not saying anything, but... Hey. It speaks <laughs> for itself. Mm, for sure. As uh, Sephiroth being the newly added character to the game, not even a month old. Mm -hmm. let's, see what ha uh, let's see what happens. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I'm getting... Uh, I'm on the juggles against uh, Sephiroth to get. Oh. Our uh, NC budget trying to keep control of the center of the stage as we see the stage transition. Uh, we have our center trying to go back to the center. Oh, guess a grab. Get some juggles. Sephiroth has to try and get some sort of combo or a heavy hit in if he wants to try and take this round. Yeah as Robin is going ahead and doing a good bit of damage to him as he goes ahead and knocks him out for the second time while still maintaining all three of his lives. Yeah, no, like, so far in in the last few matches, we've seen uh, one player having a lot of, how's it called, control and keeping a good amount of, of their lead. So far, we haven't seen a uh, game too close to each other. Ooh, as Sekiroff retaliates, taking that uh, first stock off of Robin. I'm just playing, playing the neutrals. I wouldn't say any big combo. Ooh, Both Lance characters giving each other a standoff. Mm -hmm. Good conversion from Arsenic. Oh, mm. and yeah. That, that yeah. looks like that's game. That's game, yeah. All right, Arsenic wins to, to stream against NC Viper. NC Viper moves to the loser's bracket. However, we might see him later. Maybe he can. we can see a comeback from him in the loser's. All right, let's see. Let's go back to our DLC discussion. We were left off with uh, Steve before we we have to watch that incredible match. Mm -hmm. Great performance with both players. Uh, so, yeah, Steve, definitely a character that, you know, deserved to be there, but still feels a little off, especially with his model. Ex especially with his model, yeah. knowing how he just has that blocky stature, while even someone mm -hmm. like Banjo-Kazooie mm. being a two-part character... Uh, yeah. Stoll fits in relatively nicely. Oh yeah, it's just like um, just a Banjo's model and just a character just fits in with that Nintendo theme. And well, like Steve is yeah, he's his own thing. But we we like we love Steve and Alex. Uh, let's see, Min Min, cool character. I think I like um, really funny intro, especially with the when she was making the ramen with Captain Falcon and Kirby. That's right. Yeah, that's and right. she's the uh, one of the. I believe the first character to be introduced from the video, uh, the Nintendo Switch exclusive Arms. Yeah, she yeah she's from how's it called from the game Arms, and yeah, uh, good to see her as a representation. Even even the, uh, before she got out the game, some of the characters from Arms uh, can recall their names right now, but I know they are assist trophies and Delta spirits. But at least we get to see some Arms representation with Min Min, and she's and she's an interesting character. Now, I don't mean to pick any fights with anyone in the crowd mm -hmm. or watching tonight, but I would say once we go past, like, Steve Min and Sephiroth, <laughs> the lineup doesn't get... Mm. the Everyone before them kind of looks a little bit lack lackluster. Mm. Maybe maybe giving a shot to Banjo-Kazooie and to Piranha Plant, if you're a fan of Mario. Mm -hmm. But most of these are, like, characters from not as... Big games. The thing with the thing with Terry, let's say Terry. Terry from you know, Street Fighter, definitely. Uh, no, he's not. He comes from Fatal Fury. That's right. Uh huh. It's fine. Uh, the thing with, it comes from our 
I wouldn't say obscure. It's just like King of Fighters, and it was bigger before for the people that grew up with. Because you know, like right now, let's say Street Fighter. Not a lot of people play it. People play more, more likely to play Smash Bros. or let's say Mortal Kombat than you know, No or Boy Terry. But he's really important in the history of fighting games. That is true. And Banjo, he has some good his um good games coming from the Nintendo sixty four. His kid is. It's weird because it's a lot of Sony and playing around with the, with the with the egg uh, bombs, so not something that I guess everyone prefers, but definitely an interesting character. And Piranha Plant, I think it's kind of funny just having the the Piranha Plant. Oh yeah. Some people waiting for that Waluigi reveal just to see the Piranha Plant. Waluigi being <laughs> one of the one of the sad stories going down in Smash history. Hopefully. He will eventually get a character slot soon. Yeah, Maybe 2021 could be his year. <laughs> 2021. <laughs> who knows? And then we have Joker and Hero. And Joker was a, I think, an interesting addition to our Smash Bros. Not saying anything bad. It's just like, you know, like, I don't think anyone expected Joker to be in the game. Because, you know, you say, oh, Piranha Plant. Oh, what's the next character going to be? Oh, Joker. Okay. Just Nintendo has such a wide variety mm-hmm. of games, characters, you name it, at their disposal, mm-hmm. who they can throw into this game. You could have a hundred guesses on who could be the next character, and you probably still wouldn't get it. Yeah, for sure. It's, it's like the thing's like, oh, now we're going to start a second game. We got Chemical E picking Sephiroth and Downtown going, what? Donkey Kong. All right. As we go ahead and head back to Pokemon Stadium 2. As we have Sephiroth versus Donkey Kong. Alright, so we have um, playing right now, we got Om- Omni Celeste versus Gravy. Alright. Oh, the cargo throw gets up thrown. Donkey Kong. Eh, it's kind of even for now for both players. Uh, Sephiroth has his uh, wing, I see the one winged angel. Don't you go plan to play around? As as both characters are very injured, but Sephiroth seems to be controlling the fight a little bit better. Oh yeah. As yeah. he sends Donkey Kong skyward. Yeah, no, like he has he has his. I don't think he, yeah, his wing. He does that extra damage, and he just had like that long so Oh, gets the parry. Goes back to the side. Oh, but gets buried, and that should be the stock for Donkey Kong. As Donkey Kong claps Sephiroth into his next stock. Mm-hmm. Now, as of right now, mm-hmm. uh, all the matches we've had have been 2 O's. I really want to see a match go 1-1, to one, come oh, yeah. back down and to the final match. The, oh, yeah, for sure. That's what I want to see coming out of this. Yeah, most of the time we've seen, like, a... Uh, one character having like uh, a bigger lead, but right now it's been a little close. Never mind. Right now we have Sephiroth with this two stock lead, barely taking any damage. Good. Uh, Sephiroth kind of a little close there. Mm-hmm. Manages to recover on the edge. Sure. Oh. Spot dodge. Conversion. All right. Dodge from air dodge from Donkey Kong. Ooh. Oh. Should, yeah. Ooh, as they Sephiroth recovered. manages to recover from that almost near death experience. Yeah, now Sephiroth's uh, recovery is really, it's really good. We, from what I see, I think it's one of the best ones in the game. So much. Oh, Ooh. but ain't as it Donkey wrong, Kong, man. as Donkey Kong calls it this time around, mm-hmm. and says, "Nah, uh you ain't getting back up." Yeah. No things like it's quite running for Donkey Kong because he's. When he gets off the stage, it's really easy to spike him down or guard him. But at the same time, Donkey has like four different spikes. It's kind of funny. Oh, let's see what Donkey Kong being one of the more original characters from the Smash Bros. series, just in general, as he goes up against literally the newbie of Smash Brothers. Oh yeah, definitely Donkey Kong's been there since the sixty-four days. As he proved him in these new kids that the old man way. All right, let's see. As Sephiroth goes over the edge, but we've seen this before. Uh, As Donkey Kong is very critically injured. Oh, but the fireball does the game. As Sephiroth takes it. Mm-hmm. And I gotta admit, that's a pretty cool looking windscreen from Sephiroth. Oh, yeah, for sure. 
you can just hear in the back of your head just Sephiroth as you see that um, when picture your screen alright let's see I see when our place might change it to remote. Oh. We're going to move a little bit of a setting change, so we got a little bit of time before we get into mm -hmm. the next match. Or not. Or not. I mean, <laughs> if it's just one button that was bothering the player, hey, you got to do what you got to do. As you clear, to make a quick little button change. Mm -hmm. All right, we go to Battlefield. As we get into the second match of this round. All right, we see Violet versus Luigi. All right, we see another another Violet player, and now we first time we see Lu uh, Luigi in this tournament. So, oh. I know as commentators we are neutral party, not supposed to root for a side. Oh yeah. But my boy Luigi. Oh, I I, I completely understand. Definitely, I can say the same when I saw Bowser in the stage uh, a few minutes ago. The thing with Luigi is like, you know, he seems such a goofy character, but his combos are really good and impressive for, you know, for a character, for, yeah, for, just for him being Luigi, because usually he's obviously the number two guy. And, you know, that's why I feel like it's very unfortunate for Luigi, just as a character in general, as he's usually seen as something to not be seen as a threat. Mm -hmm. But when you look at this man, he's taller than Mario. Mm -hmm. And he deserves being that number one slot. <laughs> All right. As he loses a stock. Come on, Luigi. All right, right now to give a refresher. Right now we're one zero for chemical E. I see. And well, we see another lead again. Uh, right now. Oh, he tries to get back. Someone's saying with the fireballs, can he get the? Ooh, oh. as Luigi gets him on the knock on the and way down. Oh, we see some taunts. Okay, doing that ment and uh, doing the mental damage with those taunts. Maybe trying to mess up the opponent's mental. Let's see, if we're gonna have. You know, you got the you got you see all the damage going on on screen, but you don't see the damage that the other person causes to the other person's mm -hmm. head. And you know, you might not think about it, but that can actually cause the fight to go into a completely direct different direction. Mm, for sure. Oh. As Luigi goes ahead and starts putting the pressure on. Okay. Violet misses a sort of swing. Could be deadly for Luigi. Not taking this cut out, but could be some major damage. Both characters near the edge. Luigi mm -hmm. down. So he tries to go back to the stage. There we go. Right now, and Pumas up with his punches. Oh, once again. Does it again. Luigi okay. just trying to keep that crowd control. Misses. Oh. Ooh. Right. As Luigi goes ahead and takes the lead. As Violet now only has one stock left. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that could be dangerous for Luigi. His shield was about to go. That could be working in a DC state. Both characters just trying to cautiously play, trying to do as little damage as possible, mm -hmm. just to hopefully try and finish it in one blow at the end. Oh, by the way. Ooh, Ooh. as stuck, Luigi, okay. as Luigi goes ahead. I think what we wanted to see. A game that's been close, but we haven't seen like one player truly dominate the other. A blowout. Oh, yes. yeah, for sure. Luigi's lead slowly shrinking mm -hmm. as it is just about caught up. This match could go in either direction at this point. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, guess it, Perry, but does it take into account all the following punches from that attack from Luigi? Arrow goes in. Mm. 
those characters putting the pressure on. Neither one of these players wants to lose right now, yeah. and they are showing it in this play style. I don't think no one's trying to commit too hard to the moves. They just tend to do some, some you know, get some jabs and punches. And say, oh, but can Luigi make it back? Yes, he can. As Luigi gets back on the stage. Gets up to my violet. Both characters are above 100% right now, so any f any blow could be the final one at this point. Yeah. Are they punching each other, bouncing each other? And <laughs> that, is that it? No, no, no. Don't oh. let the Hasegal the flashy calls uh, distract you. That did not kill. As Luigi. Oh, very close. Oh, but gets DS out of the state. Unfortunate. As Byleth takes the match off Luigi, probably coming in a very oh, anticlimactic way. Mm -mm. We hate to see it looks like that, but what can you say? It happens. Byleth takes the win. That one's gotta hurt. Mm hmm Especially knowing how he got the... Essentially like the KO screen mm -hmm. sort of thing as Bylos was flying off of the map only to come back and to take victory for herself. Mm. Yeah, and no, that's I think like the salty... Like, I mean, it's kind of salty way to lose. Like, you didn't just get punched. You just like you just couldn't recover back to the stage. I think that's something that frustrates everyone. Especially like uh, from experience when I play King Carol. It's definitely not fun getting has like a punch and you're like, I just wanna go back to the stage. And you can't. <laughs> Very upsetting. Or for little Mac players, because their recovery is non existent. As we go ahead and get ready for what seems to be the next match, as we have uh, new players coming in. Who's that? All right, we're moving on to the round two of the tournament. And right now on stream, we're going to see um, Gravy and Omnis last come back. And now we're going to see these two great players fight each other. I'm looking forward to seeing this match. If we, if we, from what we see, like, from the last games, great performance for both players, strong players. Now I don't know who's going to win. But now I know we're going to see a great match. And we're not even at the finals. Exactly. This should be a rather interesting one. As we head into the, this next round, so let's see let's see exactly what happens as these two combatants get themselves ready. All right, let's see. We're gonna see what stage they're gonna pick, and that's gonna be where we're gonna fight and have our uh, first match of round two. All right, we go to final destination. Once again, going to our, to some people's favorite stage. Probably not a heavy best friend, cause you just get easy juggles. Oh, we got a Ken pick. All Ooh, right. Ken versus Kirby. The little puffball that survived. <laughs> uh, but now I got to use my bias because I, I am a Street Fighter player. So <laughs> definitely I can do some better commentary for my boy Ken. So we got... Now, with both players fighting on Final Destination, mm -hmm. it's one of the more bare maps, but it's definitely one of the more anything can happen because you don't have to worry about any platforms. You don't have to worry about any moving yeah. objects. It's just you, your opponent, and the stage. Yeah, and the two light just if you fall. <laughs> that is true. All right. Oh, there we go. Show to you can big damage. As Ken blows Kirby out of the water, 
That's the skin, mm-hmm. the can special, just punch one punch, sure you can, gets the stock. Hmm, Kirby's smashing that up. <laughs> oh. As Kirby's going ahead and putting the damage on, but the damage Ken is doing is rather ridiculous. Ooh, but Kirby follows up, giving it the 2-0, the 2-2. Mm-hmm. All right, grabbing to another shirt you can almost kill. Throws a had dog and to send Kirby out. Kirby goes with the off B, going back to stage, manages to go back. Definitely see that Gravy loves to use that uh, move for Kirby, the, where he rushes with fire. Oh. King goes, low kick. Definitely a high damage match as we are already down to one stock on Kirby oh. as Kirby goes ahead but misses it and, the and sword slams and down into the abyss. Unfortunate. King takes the win right now. One to zero. Win to game two. Right, Definitely not. Side goes King DDD, and we got Gravy going with uh, yeah, Dr. Mario. Hmm. Oh, yeah, but you remember Dr. Mario from the first uh, The very first round. Yeah. All right, we got a Battlefield. As both players are immediately going at each other, mm-hmm. just trying to get as much damage, Omnilax putting the hurt on Dr. Mario. For sure, he's using his big hammer to has to go to keep him away as well as using the spike. It's just what do you do? King DDD definitely one of the more silly, but also one of the more deadly heavies in the game. Oh yeah, for sure. I love his design because he's not just big heavy punches. He has some setups or you know some things to play around, especially with the spike ball gimmick. I gotta admit, I love the hammer of his, as it can literally do anything for oh, him. Oh, yeah, the hammer is really funny. Including right. knocking a doctor out of the arena. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Oh. Oh, gets good. Good spike from Mario. Gets has to go. Doesn't it? I'm just like, go back to the stage. Oh, there's the pills. We see the, the, the enemy of, this, of the heavies sewn in. King DD trying to connect an attack, but not much landing as Dr. Yeah. Mario evades most of it. Yeah, the thing is, like, for sure he can last his hammer attack, but using his, gord- um, his Gordo, it's kind of h- hard for him to aim it, especially with this, with the platforms on the way. So he turned a- another Gordo again, uh. Mario, but misses it because of the platform. Oh, there we go. Proper usage. He gets the lines to hit. Big damage. As King DDD lands a powerful shot onto Mario. Mm-hmm. Oh, there we Ooh. go. Another one. Can we see a third one? A third one could potentially knock Mario out. But Mario is still alive. Oh, he's on the straight. It's deadly. And there we go. The third chord. Does the job. I was going to say, if he survived that, uh, mm-hmm. that doctor might be on some things. Yeah. Maybe using this pill. Eh, this is not only for his patient, but maybe himself. Okay. Uh. It's punch. Ooh. As King oh, DDD insane. takes Dr. Mai all the way down. Looks like there's more than one thing that can keep a doctor away. Mm-hmm. And that will be King DDD. Only like wins against Gravy. 2 0. As we go ahead and head into the next round, we've had we've had quite an interesting show tonight. Oh yeah, for sure. Definitely definitely love seeing the performance. Definitely using that barrier carries. We haven't haven't felt that I've seen too much of the same character. Maybe the only character I can recall that like, using uh, different uh, from different players probably Violet. But aside from that, good uh, character variety in this tournament. Oh yeah, going anywhere from Smash Brothers to Final Fantasy. Yeah, Final Fantasy. You got Street Fighter, 
Uh, Fire Emblem, Kirby. Nice. And that's one of the core like things about Smash Brothers mm -hmm. is just the wide arsenal that you know characters can play. That's one of the main things why people get into the game, even if they don't know seventy five percent of the of uh, the actual roster. They can go ahead and see probably one or two characters that they know and really like, oh, and yeah. be like, you know, I'm really interested in this game now. Oh yeah, for sure. It's just like I can just imagine people that just said like, let's say I don't know. Anyone that say that's not Terry, like all fighting game controllers, like wow, they actually are Terry. I might actually try this game out. Or someone that you know, like Final uh, Fantasy, is like not not only Cloud is on, but Sephiroth too. I need to try this game. And as yeah, what do you say? As long as there's one character that you can that you like, slowly as you play more of the game, you're gonna start liking the other characters too. And that's and that's the main point of Smash Brothers Ultimate. It's the ultimate version of the game, where the slogan is literally "Everyone is here." Mm -hmm. So there's a kid. There's probably a character for you if you haven't played the game yet. Yeah, and well, right now I'm talking about everyone's here. Now, now we're gonna see MC Viper versus Destroyer. Heading oh. into the next match. Mm -hmm. If I'm correct, yeah, now we are in the losers bracket. We went all the way up from the uh, winners, and now we're going to the losers. Let's see who's getting eliminated. Whoever loses this fight, that's it. That's the whole run from the tournament. Mm -hmm. it's, do, it's do or die right now, mm -hmm. and sadly, one's going to do, the other's going to die. Yeah. All right, NC Viper goes, ah, I guess we can, I think he's just hovering King Diddy. I don't think that's going to be the pick. Alright, just wait for the profile to have their characters ready, the buttons ready. It might be. Alright, so Happy goes with Samus, color. Hmm? 5, 4, 3? Oh. No, we're going with normal Samus. And Destroy is gonna go for. Robin. Oh, for the Robin, alright. Good thing. Bringing in Su Samus and Robin. Two characters we've already seen tonight, but, mm -hmm. you know, there's still a wide variety of ways you can play each character. Mm -hmm. Well, it's offensively, defensively. Alright, that's the match. Yeah, he's probably just dashing around, doing nothing, nothing going on too seriously. Mm. As both characters kind of just testing the water with each other. Yeah, nothing is coming or something. I mean, both are they both can just sun each other, turn fireballs and plasma or electricity balls. Uh, let's see. Kind of just as both characters don't really seem to want to commit. Yeah, not commit, man. I mean, both guys have the tools. Uh, they have long normals, punches, projectiles. They have everything. They don't really need to rush in. Kind of do a little bit of tap damage, and both characters around even. Mm, yeah, for sure. I mean, someone's playing the same pl in place though between two players. Go rockets. Oh, doesn't kill. Good. He's damage to a dangerous percentage. As Robin goes ahead and takes the first stop of this match. You know, funny story about this stage when Steve came out, uh, something went wrong with this stage, and Samus couldn't, if I uh, correct, couldn't up, up B to the top platform. She just fall through. Really? You know, funny. Really? But, yeah. No, but, uh, I think that's fake right now. Alright. Going back to the game. Now, usually for Smash Brothers, it's you think of people, you know, punching each other, kicking each other <laughs> in the face. But for this match in particular, it's a very ranged fight. Both characters having a wide arsenal of ranged attacks. Yeah, for sure. Both big and small. Well, for me, even being a, you could say, a Sony type of player, I think the most on fun matches is just like Sony versus Sony. Because mm. it's just all about like one character, like both just turn projectiles until one has the lead, and right. the other one has to camp the other out. They don't even need to just play defensively. As both characters are kind of playing it slow right now. 
really even. Yeah, I mean, we have, I haven't seen too much action, just dodging, dodging. Fireball. Keeping oh. the range on each other. Yeah, oh, there we go. Now the laser from Robin. Salmon trying to get in close with the shoulder tackle. Trying to get as as much damage as possible onto Robin. Trying to land one final blow. As Robin will go ahead and do exactly that to Samus. Oh. Oh, did I control get disconnected? Ooh. Oh, similar for her back in. Alright, uh. As both good? characters. Alright, you guys are simplified. Alright, not to think about it. Ooh. As but Samus goes the ahead. Hybrid gets the stock. Oh my. Looks like we're having some technical issues on Robin's yeah. side. Maybe something wrong with the controller. Who knows? Depending on the controller he's using. Okay. Very peculiar. Yeah, unfortunately, the problem with that is that I cannot disrupt with the flow of, of the fight. Because, you know, you're in the heat at the moment, then that just pause. It's like, okay, let me, I don't know, jump instead of doing this I was thinking of doing. Oh, yeah, and that happens just about any fighter game out there. Mm -hmm. But in this case, Samus seems to have gotten away with it as she took a stalk off of Robin. Oh, yeah. As she's slowly getting yeah, the lead getting back. back to the game, yeah. Making it, getting it, everything close to even, even though, you know, they said there's a stock lead right now in favor of Robin. Oh, and that will do it. And that will end the first game of the loser bracket, correct? Yeah. I think first game or first on stream. First game? Okay. okay, yeah, we have confirmed that is the first game of the loser bracket. Very interesting choice coming off a of destroyer with the Pichu. Ah, got me on Pichu, okay. Now, I don't know if you've uh, known this, but mm -hmm. when Sephiroth released and he got added to the giant poster of Smash characters, mm -hmm. he got positioned right next to the little fuzzball himself, Pichu, <laughs> right. as a lot of people on Twitter went ahead to flock to make a bunch of fan art of the two. Ah, uh, that's lean to, really funny. Lean to this rather funny moment of this absolute... Mm -hmm mad evil guy with a giant sword mm -hmm. just like with a little with a little yeah, yellow with a little awesome. ro yellow rodent on his uh shoulder mm. and that's and that's one of the main things that uh, people can take away from this game is just mm -hmm. characters you would never expect to interact with each other to interact with each other exactly all right but that got interactions and we've seen captain falcon and peachy fighting each other something that you will definitely not see in a normal pokemon battle oh yeah but Pichu holding his own. I don't know. Pichu showing not so little. Gets one stuck out of Fuck and NC Viper 2 sucks and Destroyer has a lead of one. Oh. Mmm, the knee of justice. What can I say? Big damage. Destroying the <laughs> poor little Pichu standing here and flying out. Just like Team Rocket. Pichu goes flying out again. Little Pichu zip zapping and zopping all around the stage. Captain Falcon's kind of having a hard time putting him in place. But as Pichu goes go ahead Unfortunate. and gets him off the map. Mm -hmm. hmm. Definitely, we need to have a counter of how many times we've seen those type of eliminations. Oh, all right. All right. Definitely a best of moment. Mm. But as of right now, I f Captain Falcon is definitely feeling 
to... Those were the Falcon Punch were lifted. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So Captain Falcon definitely realizing now not to underestimate the little fuzzball. Yeah. As is now evened one-to-one, -one, but Peter does have a slight lead on Falcon. Yeah, but the little trouble with Peach is like whenever he throws a punch, he harms himself. So definitely in the later character that he is, getting that uh, percentage uh, a little bit up is not favorable for him. Since he's kind of like lightweight, he doesn't take much damage, but... As the matter. little yellow guy takes it against mm. the punching man. How adorable. Mm. Maybe hanging out with Sephiroth influence uh, Peach in some ways. Getting that win against Captain Falcon. You know, it's moments like those mm -hmm. where you realize you have Pichu and Sephiroth hanging out to each other. Yeah. Who's the real mastermind between the two? No, and we just saw that from Pichu. Mm, maybe Pichu just... Maybe Pichu was the one who's been not telling the master of Sephiroth this whole time. Some Darth Vader Emperor type of relationship. Exactly. Mm hmm as we just see funny moments like that from this game, and that's why I feel like a lot of people really enjoy this community. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, the game is definitely really fun. All right, next on stream, we're gonna see Arsenic versus Polar. I've been looking forward to seeing these two fighters fight again, and we've seen them in. Still, we still we're going back to the going to the winners, to the winners brackets. Let's see, we're gonna see four picks. Oop, seems to be some third controller play going on here. Seems like Destroyer hasn't disconnected yet. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Oh. And he's be gone. Yeah, we're fine now. There we go. Yeah. As we have both Polar and oh, Arsenic. Doctor Mario, the mirror match. In the mirror match of the doctors, who has the better PhD? I obviously have to say that. Both doctors tend to show who has the what's it called? The superior thesis. Let's see what's gonna happen. Right, we start from Dr. Mario throwing pills at each other. This is a very special mask as we have the same character wearing contrasting colors as this is gonna be very this is gonna be something folks, I'm gonna tell you that right now. Oh yeah for sure. From experience like uh I think mirror matches are always been fun because usually you think you know, that they play around the other characters using your thing. But then you have you you are defining yourself. Mm -hmm. It's like if you can do that I can do it too. Now when fighting a mirror match, it's not you're you have, since you're playing as the same character, mm -hmm. you're able to you're you can predict what the other person's gonna do because yeah. you're most likely gonna do it yourself. Oh yeah. And you know like the weakest strengths, but I mean that goes for both players. It really I mean it's just an even matchup. Both characters have the same abilities, the same fighting oh. style. So Dang it's. God, great. God, it's from Dr. Mario on Dr. Mario. That's what I love to see. As Dr. Mario takes the lead. Mm hmm. Yeah. But as I was saying, it's this a fight like this is more of a fight of the minds instead of more brawn, since it is the same character. Oh, yeah, yeah. Definitely it's more like who has a better experience in not only Dr. Mario, but also Smash Head, so. Because as you see, Arsenic, uh, good. See, once again, uh, the game was out of my mouth. Once again, strong performance, trying to play around. Gets the great punishes. It's like, you're off the ledge, you're out of it. You're out of stock. Mm -hmm. Oh. Very close here, as both Dr. Mario's are given in everything they have. Yeah, but boy, it's strong performance right now. Definitely with some really nice uh, spikes and uh, edge guards. Oh, overthrow from Arsenic. Can we get another edge guard? Oh, the back to the phone. Polar will give this, take the stock out of Arsenic. This is first stock, but. As that looks like it's gonna be game. As Dr. Mario wins it. Hey. Who could have seen I, it? 
I was waiting for Dr. Mario. I wasn't expecting Dr. Mario to win, though. Yeah. Fairy is a shame. Hmm. I don't see why Sanctuary and Goku are going to from oh, Pokemon Stadium to I would go to the town and city, we're gonna play some Animal Crossing while we spend. Going to the town and the city. Oh, Joker! Okay, I started going with Joker and I see Polar. It's gonna be his answer. Oh, Palutena, I think. Both, uh, if I'm correct, both characters are yeah, super top tier for Palutena. I remember hearing a lot from her. Palutena, one of the main characters from. Sadly, a more forgettable game from the 3DS, Kid Icarus Uprising. I think, I mean, from what I heard, people say that the game is really good. It's just I think it has, you know, much of a bigger fan base, but I mean. It definitely is one of my favorite games, mm -hmm. but even I can say, it's a good game, mm -hmm. if you have three hands. <laughs> as there's a lot you need to do in it. Okay. But this way I have to do a lot to do if they want to take each other out. They're just trading blows. Almost even. Palutena, he just. Oh! Joker getting taken advantage. Hmm, right now, the match is looking heavily in Joker's favor. Not only is he getting the percentage, but he's also dealing up the bar to get Arsenic. Arsenic. Let's see. As he's holding that left hand area. Rather tightly, Palutena can't seem to really get her footing as Joker goes ahead and knocks her out. Once again, I'm starting throwing that strong ledge guard again and again, not letting Polar come back to the stage. He's like, you're playing my game, you know, you just hit in the stage once and that's it. You drop out of it, you gotta lock it. As Joker goes ahead and knocks out Palutena again. Palutena being the goddess of light. Kind of getting kicked around by a Joker. Yeah, the Joker, yeah. This thing's too strong. What can you do there, Sena? Okay. Up throw. And a punch. You see that another light like, successful left throw? Okay, Palutena gets back in the stage. Probably back throw. Yep, there you go. Let's see it again. Joker just being an expert on that crowd control. Trying to keep Palutena off her footing as much as he can. As he's just chipping away at Palutena's health. Can that damage? Couldn't confirm the last hit. What did? Could it almost be it for the Palutena if you connect it. And, and yeah, that's game for Joe. Our Sonic strong performance. Gotta be careful around him. You can't go back. Like you, once you're out of the stage, you're off ledge. It's over. As we see the new Joker windscreen, which has only been out for a while. Oh uh, yeah, that uh, that one seems pretty funny. How his cat becomes the band. <laughs> <laughs> we just run away. Now, as we are getting ready for our next match, it looks like we're gonna be. It's gonna be negative zone versus chemical E. Rather interesting match from these two, as are we still. I believe we're still in the losers bracket, correct? Uh, no, no, no. We no, we are right now in the winners. So last match was also winners. Uh, what happened? Uh, I think the other match that we we got the we only had like one, one match of losers, or one or two matches, but but currently right now we are in winners. All right, 
So, whether it's negative zone or chemical E, since we're still in the winner's bracket, mm -hmm. not not too much pressure on this match in, or, in, in terms of actually getting kicked out of the tournament. Mm -hmm. But you definitely... You definitely do you definitely would like to have you know some leeway when it comes to a tournament like this mm. how about con tournaments competition this saturday at 2 p.m we're gonna see uh if you go against unf and you're in north florida we're gonna see um they're gonna be playing if i'm correct uh let's see overwatch we're gonna see ballerin mm -hmm. we're gonna see the there's two schools make sure to help in the stream and support us very fun and, and very very fun very exciting shooter games oh yeah mm. i can't wait to see the league one <laughs> that was very funny and interesting i'm personally more uh, excited for the actual overwatch oh yeah myself to see i've been a little bit off overwatch so i'm excited to mm -hmm. see what kind of a uh, professional combos plays new metas, oh, the new meta. all the all the players will have Yeah, hey, I'll have to say, if I see a double shield and a bastion, it's over. <laughs> oh boy. Those were the days. Uh, no, they're still... I, I remember fighting against that. There's one team that I fought that is just dedicated to just run the bastion comp. All right, well, enough of that Overwatch mm -hmm. talk as we are heading into the next match of Sonic the Hedgehog versus Sephiroth. All right, we go negative zone playing Sonic. The king, Sonic, the king of uh, online tournaments versus Chemical E, playing the newcomer, Sephiroth. You know, it's quite funny how, you know, you see uh, Sonic skater, you see, you know, you gotta go fast and everything. But the way that people actually play here in Smash, they play more like a camp character. They just go in, get a punches, and they just run around. They just run around. That makes sense for Sonic's character. Mm -hmm. His nickname is the Blue Blur, yeah. as he just wants to get in and get out. Yeah, but you would think he just be like, you know, typical rushdown character, goes in, gets punches, keeps going, pressure, pressure. No, no, no. He's like, if he wants, he can just camp you out. Just because, oh. As he goes ahead and takes the first stock mm -hmm. on Sephiroth. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Sephiroth wants to hit him, but it's kind of hard. He just suddenly goes too fast. Because goes all along the stage. Now, a little bit off topic mm -hmm. here, but 2020, uh, definitely not a great year for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. But one good thing that did come out of the year was the Sonic he Sonic the Hedgehog movie. Have you mm -hmm. seen that yourself? Oh, yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it. And that movie, probably one of the peak moments of 2020 itself. <laughs> Especially yeah. with all the controversy over the, uh, the first the when first it first model, got announced. Yeah, the, yeah the, like the original Sonic model. And how the company listened mm. and gave us the Sonic that we had today. Yeah. I'm excited for uh, the sequel to that movie. Oh yeah, for sure. For whenever yeah, that comes out. To see Tails. Right now, I'm looking forward to see how Sonic wins if he goes for the three star on Sephiroth. Okay, looking at like Bryce, but however. Oh, as Sephiroth can't seem to recover off the edge as Sonic t as Sonic the Hedgehog takes the match. Did Sephiroth have the controller? Cause uh, personally, I, I mean, I could see that recoverable, but I don't know what happened. Again, I'm only here to report and see what happens. Like someone didn't want to press it up the button. Oh, we're gonna see a Mii fighter. Okay, the Mii gunner. Ooh, a very oh, we're gonna personal. Oh, we see on stream. Okay. A very customizable and personal character for this player. Yeah, and I and the funny boys have all the different customs that they added to Smash Bros. Going with a very interesting name there, putting a lot of pressure on both himself and his opponent. Picking a rather interesting style choice <laughs> as he customizes his arsenal. Yeah, picking. 
Uh, I, I wasn't aware of the customizable character section for this, but I have to say that's pretty great. Oh, yeah. Pretty good. As he goes ahead and does a quick little practice range of the arsenal he's picked. Yeah, making sure like all his buttons arise. Like, hold up, mm -hmm. I press, I wanted this blade, not this one, because definitely that could mess up your whole game plan. As he gets the play style he wants. Exactly. All right, we're gonna see final destination. Definitely gonna see a me gunner. It would be unfortunate if we actually don't. That'd be funny. But there he is, yeah, as right. we see me gunner versus Sonic. Final destination. Give you the final destination where a player is to lose. Sending them to, I believe, the losers bracket. Yeah. Now I'm interested to see how mm -hmm. uh, this meat gunner actually plays out. Because if you did, if you noticed when he was being customized, mm -hmm. the player gave him the name GG. <laughs> so I'm curious to see which way that GG goes. Mm. To understand. Definitely like a big guy how you can customize has interesting kid. I think it seemed like it had a video that it looked like it was a grenade launcher, but I don't know. What I can see is that right now Sonic is taking the lead right now. As me gunner gets it close. But it manages to recover. If Sonic can land one solid blow on him, then he will get knocked out. Mm. And there it is. Both characters kind of just trying to get as much damage done as they can without taking as much in return. Yeah, that's yeah, the Sonic place down, and then you have the meat gunner. Uh, kind of. Saying, oh my god, there we go. As Sonic goes ahead and takes the second stock. Mm -hmm. The interesting thing that I like about Sonic is how, how he can guard the ledge. Definitely when the opponent is trying to recover from below the stage and he can just throw the spring and that could just mess them up. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh. Oh, with it, Tony gets, goes in, gets an up throw, and goes with the up B. Interesting combo. Oh, the homing attack. I want to see if me Gunner can take at least one stock off Sonic before this is over. Mm. Mm, that's a good for fairy. Oh. As both characters are starting to get into the red zone. Yeah, but I mean, it was very exciting to be a very red zone. I mean, like, two stars. Oh, what that is. As it Sonic KOs negative. the Me Gunner. Mm -hmm. And so it takes this, this win, and yeah, give me another two stars this round. Alright, as we go ahead and head into our next match, we are going to have Polar versus Mikel. Have we seen those two tonight yet? Um, Polar? Uh, we've seen Polar. No, we've seen Polar, definitely. But Mikkel, have we seen Mikkel? No, I don't think so. I do not believe we've seen Mikkel tonight. No, we haven't seen Mikkel on stream. So, so definitely, we welcome him and let's see what performance gives us to us and our viewers. Definitely looking forward to see our newcomer on the stream. Could be an upset. All right, so mm -hmm. while we got a little bit of downtime here, Leo, you've said yourself that you've played a, you played a good bit of Smash in your yeah, time. Yeah, I played. I played. Now, if you could professionally go, mm -hmm. 
-hmm. like to go to a professional level with any character. Mm. Doesn't matter tier list wise who's better than who. Essentially, if you can go mm -hmm. main one character, who would it be off of this massive play uh, mm, roster? All right, if I don't, if I don't really have to care about like, you know, tier list wise. I might go with either my boy Bowser or King Karu. I know, I know. <laughs> but those guys, I don't know, I like them a lot. Or Jigglypuff. Cause Jigglypuff would Jigglypuff, be fun. Jigglypuff is like another character that I also like playing. Definitely does uh, with the rest combos. Mm -hmm. Definitely something I really like a lot about the kids. And also her jo uh, juggle combos that just gets you out of the screen. I mean, cool character. Hope to see Jigglypuff uh, in the tournament. Maybe a match too. Who knows? Jigglypuff, definitely a very important character in that, in at least the Pokemon universe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, infamous for singing its opponents to sleep and then drawing on them with a marker. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Hmm? She just gets mad. It's like, I'm, I'm singing here for you and I want you to listen. What do you mean you're going to fall asleep? Wake up. Probably one of the probably one of the longest running gags in at least the Pokemon show. Oh yeah, for sure. I think yeah, you can even see that in the It was the very first the season. Detective Pikachu movie too. Like you go to the bar and you see the Jigglypuff. Had its own little cameo. Yeah, and just like a person just like knocked down because of Jigglypuff. I always being a classic seeing the little guy, little pink guy. As we go ahead and head to the next match. Uh I believe. Yeah, right now we're gonna do Chemical E versus Midnight? Uh, huh? Chemical E versus Midnight? Yeah, uh, wait. Oh. No, I think we're doing, no, we're doing Paul versus Michael. Or oh, yeah, look, Ganondorf. Definitely a character you haven't seen. And Ooh. Cloud, too. We two new ones mm -hmm. on the stage tonight. Great to see. Oh, there we go, Cloud building and living. You know, the funny thing is, like, um, Ganondorf. I mean, his kid is just Captain Falcon, but it's just like slower and more bulky. A very hard hitting character. Oh, yeah, for sure. Definitely one to watch out for. His smash attacks are deadly, especially with the swords. But that Ooh. recovery is not as great as this, his damage output. As Link goes ahead and takes the first stock. Mm -hmm. Alright, then Polo. Yeah, Polo just building up with Klaus. Uh, oh, there we go. He gets the limit. That's what we're gonna see. Oh, the. Uh, Over B from Ganander Blindstone. Oh, but misses the limit. Oh, does it to use it? Cloud misses his limit. Going back to the stage. Time to regain the middle. Ganon almost is taking down his shield. Ganondorf being the heavy hitter he is, he just needs to land really one good attack on Link if he wants to get him out of here. Yeah, no. Uh see, the thing's like the thing with Cloud. Is that you know like his damage is really good and then the limit that he can build build just like the Final Fantasy games? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Now speaking of the Final Fantasy games, along with Smash Brothers, when Sephiroth made his entrance, everyone was standing below watching. What do you think Cloud felt seeing his old friend up in the sky ah, coming to this game? I just I just got some good old. Po uh, post Sephora dramatic disorder, just looking at him back. It's like, I thought I was behind. Every single game, and with the limit, gets good damage, but not not enough to kill Ganondorf. Ganondorf is still with a low percentage. I would love to see at least one Cloud vs. Sephiroth fight tonight. Oh, we got, oh the Warlock punch it both whips. Cloud gets to punish on Ganondorf, and yeah, that should be it for Ganondorf. He can't recover back, and oh, he gets back down the disrespect, and still gets his three stock. As Cloud goes down with him, make sure to secure that final blow <laughs> as Cloud takes it. Definitely, with, uh, the problem with Ganondorf is like, that was just really good, but he's really, really slow. So you have to do has to go be mindful of that. Like you can just, you know, throw punches. I like you have the correct uh, uh, uh speed like other characters. Oh, Incineroar. Ooh, Incineroar being one of the newest Pokemon's from yeah, the Alolan region. Yeah, added to the game. Let's see. 
Funny enough, uh, Incinerary said now that going from one bad character that can barely recover, Incinerary has a bad recovery. Because if you miss it, you're diving straight down. Is that no joke? Now, we didn't get to it earlier when we were talking about it, but if I could do any character, or if I could professionally do any character, professionally main any character, it would be Pit. Pit? Mm. Pit is my boy. Fra he is also from the game Kid Icarus Upper Oh, yeah, yeah. Of course. Oh. As. And it's, and it's like my little angel dude. Hmm. It's very interesting how Kid Icarus was like a dead franchise until he got to Smash. And then they brought new games as soon as he came to Smash. I think Sakurai made them. Mm -hmm. oh. And. As Incineroar takes out Pit. Yeah, right away. Is that damage. Oh. Low attack with this combos. I see you, Polar. Now, there definitely are a lot of different uh, Pokemon characters within Smash Bros. You got Lucario, you got Pichu, Jigglypuff, Poke Pokemon Trainer himself. Oh, yeah. But Incineroar is definitely an interesting one, but it makes sense because his character design is basically off of a, rest of a wrestler. Oh, yeah, wrestler, yeah. All his wrestler moves, and even in, in the actual game where he takes place. Mm hmm. One of his uh, max moves or Z moves is him just doing a body slam in a little yeah. fighting match. I mean, yeah, he's just a wrestler. As you see, like, uh, how's it going? I believe what's this. Oh, there he goes with the die. So deadly, but. Ooh, as deadly for himself. Can't um, recover. So yeah, you can't throw it like that. Look at that. You just go up, then dive straight down, and just free fall. You can't do anything to go back to stage. Polar doesn't want to go for the edge guard. He respects speed. Doesn't does know that it's there if you try to recover and finish that. It's a very scary thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. The parry. And As Incineroar goes ahead and takes it, knocking out Pit. Another thing I kind of like about Incineroar in this game is how his parry is not like. How would you normally see like King Carol or other people that, you know, parry and then instant reflect? He, right. he just like he builds it and gets more damage and then he can just throw it back all the damage that he's gathering up due to the parry. Definitely a very interesting character in Cinnaroar. Yeah. Definitely one one of my personal favorites yeah. off of the roster. Off mm -hmm. the initial roster. As we go ahead and get set up for the next match. Oh yeah, for sure. Let's see, next match. We still haven't got the result. We're going to go next. But now, talk about um, you know, characters. I think one character that is kind of funny that he's on Smash. Because he's not even a, from a video game. He's actually like an uh, actual toy. It's Rob. Oh yes. Rob, um, mm -hmm. if I remember correctly, Rob was part of Mario Kart on the Wii. He yeah. was a... He was, I never figured out how, but I've, he was some sort of playable character, whether he was modded in or if there was some sort of secret achievement in order uh, to get him. In the Wii, he wasn't playable, but he was playable in the DS. That's right. Mm -hmm. And already, um, right now we're coming, have a quick announcement. Right now we're going Talos versus Snake. And now going back to a rub before our match start. Um, Tuck started as a. Uh, like a built in companion for the, for the Nintendo. But it didn't work because it was like uh, his design was too primitive. It didn't work that well, and he just kept in the background until the brawl came out and Sako was like, ah. "Let's add Rob to the game." And his combos are really good. But you know what's really good is the match we're going to see between Talos versus Nick. Ooh, that should be a rather interesting one. Mhm. Mm Ah, oh, there we go. Tell us with the Bowser. Can't forget about yeah, with that. I'm oh. personally interested in the Mr. Game & Watch. Hmm. The little 2D... Well, it's an all 2D, but he's specifically 2D. Yeah. I'm gonna see a kill by, you know, the hammer with the level 9? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna see... Is Nick gonna play around the level 9? Who knows? Oh, goes for the hammer. Level 4. Oh, 
the girl. Oh, there. That's a classic from Bowser. Shield. Expect him always to go for the up B. Out of shield. Oh. Bowser is a straight up powerhouse in this game. So, Mr. Game Watch is definitely gonna have to definitely play around that. Definitely avoid any main hits. Yeah, like that. Can not can avoid that one? So I guess he can. Mr. Game Watch can hear us in here. What? Oh. Now the prank is canceled. Bowser out. He comes back to the ledge. Looking for more blood from our 2D fellow uh, over here. I, I think he give more like ink. Yeah, you're right. It's more ink than. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely seems like one of the more style of characters. But Bowser's really in I just realized Bowser's really injured right now, so if Mr. Game and Watch can land a blow, oof. A little short on that one. Ooh, but that will kill. I mean Bowser's if I'm the heaviest character in Smash Bros. You would think it would be like I don't know, Ridley Kicking Roll. But oh it's Bowser. And you can definitely see in this match as he barely he didn't die at such high percentage that could have killed anyone, especially a Jigglypuff or a Pichu. Mm -hmm. But no, no, no Bowser. Too big for that. So he goes for another up B, just that damage and just Ooh. one mighty blow from the Koopa gets me, takes a stuck from Mr. Game and Watch. Oh, apples? Oh, ah, unfortunately Bowser uses the apples made by Game and Watch and gets some of his health back. You wanna say, oh! Ooh. You know, I was expecting him to go for the, for the, you know, the grab off the stage. Oh, yes. Ooh. Bowser's stuck in the ground. Yeah, but matches fast enough to get out and miss. He's going to game and watch. As and, it looks oh, like, it, yeah. that is it for Mr. Game and Watch. As that is game over. Mm -hmm. Poor well. Mr. Game and Watch. Guess the star of King Koopa himself. Will we see Mr. Game & Watch come back and has a call and defeat the enemy of Mario? I mean, all I'm saying is Bowser is holding on to his crown pretty strongly. Yeah, definitely in, the, in, definitely in a new game he doesn't want. He's done. He's done losing every single game. It's over. Oh, uh, yeah. As we go ahead and get our characters ready, as it looks like we're gonna stick with the same characters. Oh, yeah. Bowser vs. Game & Watch. I just think characters, different colors. But, let's see. But when we see a different outcome from the last game. That's what we want to see. And yeah, we still stay in Pokemon Stadium 2. Bowser starts with the red. Five red. Oh, but the bucket. I hope to see Mr. Game & Watch sort of like adapt to the playstyle that he sort of knows. To sort of expect what he's already seen. Mm. And hopefully try and pull it around from Bowser. Yeah, but from one, I think Gamma has the tools just to deal with Bowser. You can definitely juggle him if I'm correct. He has a like, move that he does like a fit, uh, like some fish. Oh, like fish Ooh. Alright, there we go. Some adaptation. And takes one and stuck. Mr. Game Watch taking the lead. Now, Game Watch definitely having one of the more unique movesets in this overall game in general you know coming out with a th lot of things you wouldn't expect yeah the animations are really different from how's it called from everything because the thing is game which is not just one character he represents like the whole series of mini games that that he comes from mm -hmm. but sometimes pure uh pure brute force will get the job done which bowser is showing yeah bowser has enough well, the man, uh, uh. As he goes ahead and takes the lead, two to one on Game and Watch. Oh, the eight gets the three on Bowser. Definitely gonna say what I love about Ultimate is that he made Bowser like a good character because in Brawl and other games, he was not that good. But now he has armor, he is actually fast, and he has good damage. As yeah. Bowser takes it back to back. Back to back. Definitely putting respect on the Koopa King's name. Mm hmm. Now, we've seen throughout, like, uh, even there's good players online that do some great Bowser. I think that um, there's one called 
Leon. I think really, Leon, a really good Buster player. He does like tell us. He moves up the winners. No, losers, my bad. Tell us the movement up in the loser bracket. Hmm. As everyone is going ahead and getting set up for the next match, what do you say we go ahead and talk about the, the night we've seen so far? Mm, no, I definitely like this tournament. Uh, like all the different. Uh, so far, I first I haven't seen like I seen any crazy combos, but definitely what I seen is some good plays as well as uh, edge guards. All the spikes, I love that. That's why I love um, King Kiro has like a back care that mm -hmm. spike. I love it. And when you want to see any other care to do a spike, hey, you got my boat. I think you're cool if you can do. You can just spike your opponent like that. Right. Now, one thing I'm actually mm -hmm. really happy about seeing uh, from tonight's performance is the uh, wide variety of characters. Like, we've seen a couple uh, of the same characters here and there. But overall, we've seen quite a large variety of this large roster. Yeah, I mean, it's good. You didn't just see, oh yeah, stick to the top tier. You're just going to see Pac-Man, Sonic, uh, Paltina. No, 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 we, we get to see everyone. We see our boy Ganondorf. Mm -hmm. we, see, we see Bowser. I mean, Bowser's not bad. He's really good. Um, Bowser playing on a show tonight. Hey, yeah. We've seen Kirby, we've seen Cloud, we've seen Sephiroth, we've seen um, Violet, Robin, and Dr. Mario, and Luigi. Very true. Mm -hmm. One thing I would love to see mm -hmm. is if we get the new ones in here, and if we can see a little bit of Minecraft Steve. Oh, Minecraft Steve? I would love to see Minecraft Steve tonight. It would be funny if the fun is just like, because uh, I remember that happened in Smash Bros. 4. They had that too. Yeah, what's her name? Um, Bayonetta, and they just like they were just holding down B for like two minutes, and <laughs> so if we get the finals here, it's just two steeps and just like they just they just mind the first minutes of the game. All right, we're going Banners, Banners versus Omni Slabs, Canada versus Ken. Ken, yeah. Ken definitely being like a little bit more of a middleweight class while Gandor's over here being on the heavier side. Mm -hmm. Interesting to see how this match goes. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. If we want to fall down to the shirt, you can. Oh. Hadouken, Hadouken. Oh, okay. Air touches the sword. Don't think it's your head. But now I need some uh, smash attack from Gandalf. It's just, it's just straight up dead. Oh, and then showed you can. As Ken gets the fancy finish on Ganon. Mm -hmm. Oh, gets the parry on Ken. Okay, River. Ooh. Ooh. Gan Ooh. Ken pulling out a Shuriyuken from the bottom of the map. Mm -hmm. Alright, the reversal and using the focus correctly. Ken completely controlling this match. This man's playing all the Street Fighters. Having quite a comfortable lead on Ganon. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh, Ganon. However, you can't get too cocky, especially in a situation like this. Yeah. Otherwise that lead Ooh, could that go could ahead be... and shrink. Oh, Ooh. unfortunate, but that moment, Ganon was try tried to go for a spike when he I saw the speed go down. That could have been everything for Ken. But then the Shuriken does the job. But Ken doing a really good job in that fight. Mm -hmm. Especially key point in playing uh, the edges. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Definitely kind of baiting Ganon towards the edges and then hitting with that Shuriken from below. Oh! Ooh. And right. here Ladies is a and nice treat. We're going to see a Ganondorf mirror match. Ganondorf versus Ganondorf. Are we going to see who, but now the question is, who is the better Ganondorf player on his slash or Bannon? We're not replaying in. Strap yourself in, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be a nice one. As we have two heavies going up against each other. Yeah. Now, neither Ganondorf can compare with each other, but uh, attack speed as they have the same everything. The second mirror match of the night. Oh, but 
scan. As the first scan, it goes down. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Homestuck was gonna give the Homestuck to Ben and tend to. No, Homestuck right now. We are fierce players tend to win this tournament. Ooh, as both Gans are still relatively even. Yeah. Both two stomps left, relatively low on health. I mean, yeah, this, this is a mirror match. It's 50 50. And again, back again, the thing with the mirror match is it doesn't matter. The abilities you have, you both have the same abilities. Exactly. No, so it's a Night mind play game. Has, exactly. Night player has the edge, or the matchup is like oh unfavorable because I mean you're fighting yourself. Mm -hmm. So both player has the same options. And the interesting thing about a mirror match is, again, you know everything this character does, mm -hmm. so you know everything your opponent is going to do. You just figure out you have to figure out in what order they're going to do it. Ah, uh, but then here the kick just gets the kill for Ganondorf. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right, Omni has been really dangerous in the ledge, but doesn't matter. Gets the stock on Banner. As this is about as close as you can get, one stock each, both at zero zero. As both Ganons don't want to give up. Oh, a little bit of a close call there. Yeah, no, this this Ganons like to play with fire. They just <laughs> juggle around the ledge, knowing that their cover is not the best one in the game, and one. Miss uh, calculation could just be it. You just get it. oh mm. the sword as Ganon. That's the Ganon for damage right there. Like we takes the win. That's the Ganon for damage right there. One mighty blow from the the evil warlock takes the game. You see, most people would say that two heads are better than one, but Ganon just like nah. I only need me. <laughs> yeah, it's like oh. <laughs> As we could potentially right. go back to what we had yeah. in the first fight with oh, yeah. Ganon versus Ken. Yeah, right now we're now one to one. One managed to prove that Ooh. I am the Ganon Dorf player. Don't come <laughs> and pick my own character because that's who I made. And now Onisa goes back to his Ken. Both characters play, have to play very carefully as this match will determine who, wait, who goes where. Mm. Who moves on and who... Whose journey ends today? Yeah, right now it's really good. Lisa is really dangerous for both players. Oh. Close call off the Ganon, but yeah. managed to recover. Big dodges. You know, now there's something I wonder if right now or. Optimus is playing Ken, if he's just doing the simple inputs or the actual inputs. Because Ken, Rio and Ken, as well as Terry, they can do like their own like special attacks doing the same right. inputs you would do in like in Street Fighter. Yep. Let's see. As Ken tries to keep Gan off the edge, oh, the but spike. Ganon, the spike. calling it. Yes, 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 you're coming back to the ledge. I've seen that shit again a million times. I make that read. Get out of my stage. <laughs> Ganon, oh, but Ooh. Ken says. But Ken not having it as not having it. he too, he too won the Ganon. He's not taking that disrespect from the Ganon. He's like, how dare you spike me out of the stage? I'll take you down right away. Ganon now backed into a corner because if he loses this stock, it's over for him. Oh yeah, for sure. Okay, Hadoken, Hadoken playing like this shadow player that he is. Ooh. 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 As can Another clean shot. From Omni Slacks. Nice Ken. Representing the or the Street Fighter franchise winning that stock. Sadly Ganon not getting that much love tonight. Yeah, unfortunately it's just like the problem is like Ganon is always considered one of the worst yeah, yeah I think he's one of the worst characters in the game. Besides the uh, besides Little Mac. Because that's the problem, he, he has the damage. But he, he just can't, can't connect out of it. Exactly. Yeah. It's like okay sure I can one shot you if I hit you, but if I never get to hit and he just gets juggle. And the fact that his recovery is this eh doesn't help a lot. I can definitely see Ganon being pretty good like on the lower level players. Because they wouldn't exactly know how to dodge 100% of the time. Or, yeah, or it doesn't get as punished as these 
normally should. But the higher you go in skill rate, exactly. the, the harder it gets. It's like playing Bastion in Overwatch. It's exactly. Like, yeah, he's like, oh yeah, it's just a moment turn. But then one point he's like, I'm getting targeted. What's going on? <laughs> I should be getting my free win. I'll pick Bastion. <laughs> I don't get it. I picked best character. Like, I should yeah. win. Yeah. Like I've been winning all my all my uh, silver to global games. How am I gonna win? But yeah, once you get into that higher skill rate of characters, pull, being able to pull off... Sort, I don't want to call it cheap tricks, mm -hmm. but easier tricks... It, it gets hard to pull off those easier tricks on higher level characters. Mm. Higher, higher skilled uh, players. Oh, I'm going off your question earlier for uh, Ken. Apparently, it is the actual Street Fighter inputs. Oh, I'd love to see my Street Fighter game. inputs. Three, two, one, I respect go. the game player. Play the, playing Ken has you been to more Shan inputs. As we go ahead and head to the next uh, match of Sonic versus uh, Robin. Mm -hmm. Or Joker. Wait. Yeah, right now we've seen our Sonic versus Dinka that's sewn. Ken, have we seen before? I remember Arsenic is a really strong player, definitely with uh, with Edgegar or Deadly. As Sonic has a rather comfortable lead, not having taken much damage. Sonic getting a little mm -hmm. bit close there. See? Right now, Sonic, Sonic doing that wolf performance right now. Just, just racking up that damage. Just, doing what Sonic does best, moving in, getting a quick little hit and moving out. Exactly. Robin can't seem to get a good enough hit on him. And that's the thing, with this two, uh, Platforms, it helps a lot for him to camp. Just look at that. He just, oh, want to hit me? I'll hit you back. I'll see you. I'll see you back at the other side of the stage. Oh, there we go. Back through. As someone gets a nice little combo off. Mm -hmm. But Joker does it. Our son. That could help a lot. But it doesn't help the fact that he's 170, 188. Excuse me. On percentage. Ooh. <laughs> Don't know if you can hear that, but the crowd outside's getting a little yeah. rowdy. I don't know if the crowd, uh, some of the crowd is pleased with the Sonic, but I mean, I understand. But hey, when you get to the win, it's fine with me. My God, Joker's showing like he's the new one. Heavyweight, I see still leads with the 100, 226. Honestly, Joker. Sonic just needs to land one good hit on him. Yeah, but Sonic just, but he just, As Sonic's he just zooming change. around. He just like, he just, nah, he just gotta keep playing the same way. Oh. Ooh, Ooh hold on. The spring. As yes. Sonic manages to trick him. Yeah. Down below. I didn't know at first, but that spring just launched Joker off. And, you know, the fact that he had so much percentage allowed the spring to just stand and flying up so far. Damn far enough off the stage right. where... He couldn't do anything about it. Yeah. Oh, I sent, uh, Joker gets us in that back uh, really early. Sonic managing to recover off the edge. As both characters are in the red, but Sonic has a slight lead with that stock. Oh my god. Quite uh, the performance from I don't Sonic wanna, I don't right now. I don't want to give you my personal opinion, but <laughs> I can 
I can understand the satisfaction of the Sonic player as a Soner. He's like, you can't hit me, you can't hit me. But I can also feel the frustration of the Joker player being like, please, I want to move up to the next match. I can't hit this man. He just keeps running around. And you know, that honestly could be Sonic's secret weapon. Just the annoyance. Just the annoyance he can cause on the battlefield could mm -hmm. honestly frustrate the opponent and cause him to make a mistake. Hey, maybe this is... Maybe that makes sense. You think Dr. Rockney when he's around Sonic, he just can't stand the guy. Ooh. Ooh as but. Sonic whiffs the recover, cause him to lose that stock. Yeah. Putting Joker in the lead. Mm -hmm. Now Sonic can't play quite the defensive game he's been playing, and he has to go a little bit on offense if he wants to try and make a little bit of comeback here. Yeah. He has to shut up that uh, classic Sonic cockiness and uh, fight for the real. Looking like really good for him. Joker is getting both uh, the rage from his heart percentage and now he has Arsena. That could kill. Easy. Ooh. Sonic goes ahead Sonic and evens it up. That headbutt just gets him out of the stage. Now the score is one to one, but Sonic does have a little bit of a disadvantage on him, knowing how he's already taken quite a bit of damage. Yeah, from but the I mean, right encounter. now it's a matter of can Joker actually hit the Sonic player. That is true. Sonic needs to use his power and speed right now if he has a chance of one to win this. Oh, there we go. Sonic Is playing rather it? close to the edge. Oh, misses the Sonic misses the grab. That could be in. Oh man, there's Sonic just running around. Sonic things. Sonic doing Sonic things. Mhm. Mm Ooh. Ooh. Get the hit. Can he get the guard? Ooh. Oh. As Sonic just barely misses the ledge. Mm -hmm. Giving Joker the win. That's an unfortunate one right there on Sonic's behalf. Oh, okay. You say our setting switching from Joker to Wolf. Ooh. Nice little switch up on the characters here. Mm -hmm. And this is, is the first time we've seen Wolf come out tonight. Oh yeah, I need some uh, Star Fox representation on the stage. Now the thing is, can he use Wolf to deal with this annoying matchup? The thing is, Wolf is a cool character because you know it has like you know the standard like as you can say Firefox things like uh, the upbeat the. All of his combos. Yeah, and he also has like, you know, the projectiles. So maybe he could use those tools to deal with him. And he also has some strong punches. Let's see if Fox can find a way to deal with the uh, mm -hmm. little blue road hedgehog. Not like you good if it... Oh, oh alright, there we go. Ooh, and that could be the reason why we saw the switch to uh, Fox. Or the wolf. Yeah. That little counter on the, on the ledge. Wolf putting quite the pressure onto Sonic now. Oh, guess apparently, okay. And we're gonna see, instead of evil moment, are we gonna see a FAU moment, number 32 with those parries? All right, stay tuned. Wolf looking a little worse for wares on that is Percentage meter. If Sonic can get one solid hit, that'll knock him out for sure. Yeah, but the thing is, like, don't let his size fool you. Um, Wolf is more of a brawler than, than you know, Fox and Falcon. He's, he has a little more weight than his two other friends. 
It makes sense given his role in the Star Fox universe. Mm -hmm. Makes sense given his role in Star mm -hmm. Fox. Oh yeah, for sure. He's more Ooh. of a tougher guy. He hit, hit hard than you know. He's so nimble and has fast hitting face friends. No, not friends. Actually, enemies. And we see Wolf giving Sonic a little front screen. All right, guys. Score up to two one. If you guys had trouble with Sonic, you seen it on here on stream. Uh, a guy if I are saying to deal one oh one, how to deal with Sonic. Pick Wolf. Win. <laughs> no problem. Hey, but I can't call the win right now because this still match is now over, and we can see negative zone still make a comeback. Oh, very much so. You just need to play smart enough to, mm -hmm. you know, avoid the tricks of Wolf. Ooh. Oh, the laser? Is that be enough? The air dodge might sound to go back to say Ending by a threat. Oh, but ooh, yeah. and that looks like it's gonna be game for Sonic. Yeah. All right, I guess Wolf is the Sonic killer. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense given their natural roles. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, small little headshot against the Wolf. That makes sense. I can see mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. This was the first time we've seen Wolf out tonight. Yeah, yeah. And given him, given what we just saw, a very strong performance. Mhm. Mm and yeah, it's a good character. Solid. Solid character. Definitely, I feel like one that doesn't come up much on the radar, but did a really well job dealing mm. with Sonic. It's, it's a good seeing Wolf back, uh, especially since the last time he saw, um, last time we saw Wolf was on Brawl, I believe. And then after that, he just got wiped out until <laughs> we saw back his return back in Ultimate. Which is definitely one of the best game parts about this game is everyone's back. Everyone's back, exactly. And more. Yeah, sometimes like I feel there's some people that got tilted, like saying like, "Oh, I lost my character." Let's say, "Oh, Snake is not back," or "Peach is not back," or the Ice Climbers, and then you know I can understand that. But yes, you know, so either you move on or you don't. But now with this game, hey, if you had like that one character that you played <laughs> when you were a kid, he's here. Exactly. All right, I guess we're going to win this finals with in best of five. Ooh. So the first player to get the three, win three, three wins, wins yeah. will take the tournament, right? Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Right Ooh. now it's winners. Not yet. So right now there's, so since we, this is a uh, double elimination, we have like, you know, one bracket and then we have the losers. So we need to get their respective winners for each side of the bracket to go at the end and face each other off. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. We still got a little bit to go in terms of actual fighting. Yeah. We still need to finish this match and then we need to see what happens with the loser. See if it's going to be on stream or off stream. But hey, we're going to see. We're going to see all the fights to the end. Oh. Alright, actually. Uh, let me take that back. We're in losers' quarters. We're not in the finals. Mm. I apologize for the confusion. All right, getting a little bit of a uh, getting a little bit of mix, mis, mixed up uh, signals, but mm -hmm. we are in the losers' quarters. Yeah, what we know is that negative sound right now is fighting versus Telus. As we. We see two very common faces of the night. Bowser versus Tonic. Two rather powerful combatants of the night. Mm -hmm. Definitely, I don't think. I mean, Bowser's doing good so far. Yeah, actually, pretty good. Oh my Ooh. god, alright. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, this is more like a uh, difficult matchup for Bowser. Maybe because of, you know, Sonic's nature being so fast and maybe getting some juggle. In the you know uh, big body that is Bowser, but Bowser looks his man just fine. Hitting the 
blue hatches stepping right into strikes. Yeah, this is the perfect match of speed versus power. And right now, Bowser is putting quite the show on with the lead. But Sonic goes ahead and catches back up. Yeah. As both characters are relatively even. She's gonna have it. Oh, Sonic trying to see his ball attack. Yeah, it's funny. In Brawl, he mostly is like, I mean, still are, kind of. It's just like, oh, what's Sonic attack? Ball. What's Sonic attack? Ball. Oh, look what he's doing. Oh, he's charging into a ball. Oh, what's he doing? Ball. Ball, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, we a... get it. We get it. He's a... We get it, Sonic, but... Oh, mm. unfortunate. As this little speedy hedgehog goes ahead and knocks Bowser down to his last stock. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. Bowser, just like uh, Ganondorf, just like Little Mac, any other, or Incineroar, any other character that has a terrible recovery. Throw him off the ledge, it's over. Especially Donkey Kong. Mm. Oh. Now, when talking about Sonic's mm -hmm. combos, it is, like you were saying, is mainly his role. Oh, but he yeah. has so many different ways he can use that one role, which makes him such a nuisance. Yeah, it's like, is he actually going to hit me, or is he just going to keep running away from me? Exactly. Oh. Oh. Mm. You hate to see it, guys, but Bowser couldn't make it back. He couldn't make the recovery. As Sonic shows that speed is better than power. Yeah, sometimes he's... It's like raw power. I mean, it's nothing. You can't catch up to Sonic. Let's see. Are we gonna see a Captain Chen from Telus? He's gonna stick out with the guts of a of a Bowser main. It's gonna be no, no, no. I know my character. I know I can make it back. Oh, are we gonna say? Oh, we seen a change of music. Oh, oh, we seen the one winged angel several steam on stream. Kind of jealous. I can't hear right now, but I can just play it on my head. All right, Telus sticking with his Bowser and we're going to Sonic. Both characters picking with the same, sticking with the same characters. Mm -hmm. Different colors, but I'm probably about to And we got back to battlefield. If we are in these loosest quarters. Let's see if Bowser can figure out a way to deal with a little blue annoyance. Mm -hmm. It's been running amok in the tournament pretty, so, pretty hard so far. Yeah. We've only seen the one counter instance of, of Sonic vs. Wolf. Yeah, I mean, Bowser was doing good at the beginning of the last match as he got like an early suck really fast. But I think like uh, negative sun was like, hold on, what am I doing? I took him hit by the, by the heavy, the heavy weight. Hold on. Exactly. As he kind of, he kind of found his footing. Ooh, not good. But not right there. Sonic, pass it off the stage. Yeah, good. Uh, pass it. Are we gonna see Bowser try to go in and just do the grab and throw each other off the ledge? Would be funny. But anyway. I think I should go fix my hair, but misses. This is in control of the stage. Bowser very critically injured. Sonic just needs to land one solid attack on him. Oh! Ooh. Ooh. As Bowser goes for the grab. You know, the other great thing about, um, what's it called? The platform is like when Bowser does that little grab that, you know, slam each other. Mm -hmm. If he lands it on the platform, he can make, you know, the blast go a little closer to the blast zone and get that early kill. Exactly. Than if he just did it, like, you know, flat on the, on the ground. Exactly. You said, ooh. ooh, okay, I see you. As Tell Bowser us. finally would deal with the speed. As he goes ahead and gets his 3-1 to one on Sonic. I'll be, I'll be out of shield, classic back. Thing. The back throw will do it. Sonic does manage to get the speed. Stock live on Bowser, but Bowser still has quite a solid lead, mm -hmm. being one stock ahead. Oh yeah, that's the thing. It's like with heavies, you have to have a different mindset. You can't think like, oh, I just took a little damage, I'm out of the game. You no, you're a heavyweight for a reason. You will tank punches, block punches with your face, <laughs> and you will still be able to stand back and keep fighting. Especially against an opponent like Sonic, where it's mainly just fast, lightweight attacks. He really needs to commit to a heavy attack if he wants to finish off an opponent. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. It's like, okay, what Bowser, um, Sonic can go in and out. I don't, um, from what I'm I think he has, like, that many strong options. They say, like, Ganondorf or something. That he's just like, oh, dead. 
which allows Bowser you know, to rack, uh, to well to have that high percentage, he still managed to live. But it's okay now this fight, yeah, he's managed to get Bowser up to a high percentage. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, but Bowser doesn't need much to take the, the blue hedgehog out. Oh, gets a parry. Oh. Oof. Oof. IV. As fire. Bowser calls in the fire. To no Roll avail. Raid from the Bowser. As Sonic goes ahead and matches it one to one. Mm -hmm. Still very dangerous for the Sonic because he's 120 against a heavy, a heavyweight such Bowser. Oh, very much so. Not a good number. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Both characters playing with fire as they yeah. barely escape death off the edge. More dangerous for Bowser since his up doesn't go so as high as Sonic uh, Spring, but hey. They both make him out of life. Ooh! As Bowser catches Wilson Sonic. Wants, throw it back. And he gets the punch. I tell us proving that he's not switching characters. I'm sticking to my main because I know how to use him. As we are now one to one in this matchup, as, so let's see if they stick to the same characters. As it seems like they are going to. As we are now one to one in speed versus pure power. Yeah, I mean, right now we lose this, and as you know, as it happens, so it's like I think go higher up the. Uh, I was a bit curious um, the bracket. You don't really want to risk and go with this like. Of character that you barely know. If you if you really want to just, like, just stick what you know, what you're comfortable, just play around it. Oh, very much so. Mm -hmm. Like the tier list is there to show you, if you were to play all these characters at the same level, here's how well they would do. Yeah. But if you're really good at a lower level character, then you you, know. you could honestly beat someone who hasn't played much of a higher skilled character yeah i mean higher up character it's everything about like how well you know how to use your character and just your overall standing up you know the game and the matchup Ooh, okay. sonic going ahead and taking the early stock off bowser but this stage just doesn't look that good for bowser Because another fact that was Thatcher is just like uh, the stages, they play Mayor, this is, he's like another character. Because, you know, depending if they have platforms or not, it can definitely change the way that, you know, both characters play or who has the advantage or not. And right now, the lack mm. of platform doesn't look that nice favorable for Bowser, he's just getting juggled around the final destination, doesn't have anywhere to land. Yeah, as Bowser can't seem to catch up with Sonic's speed. Yeah, he just keeps getting juggled over and over. Oh, he just puts down B. Really risky, I think it like had a lot of recovery. That was extremely hurt and high up on percentage. As as Sonic just tries to hit him as much as he can. He gets a helmet attack in. Bowser hanging on by a hair. Oh. Bowser making sure to block all of those high-powered charges from Sonic. Yeah. Oh, but this spring will do it. As Sonic goes ahead and catches him again with the spring. Oh. Bowser at least giving him something. Give him a run for his money. Saying, I'm not going down without a fight. Hey, he can still make it back. He's still, he's still, he's still winnable for, for, from both parties. Definitely, right now... We're looking at just statistics. I mean, definitely looking way better in Sonic's favor. Yeah. Just for the fact alone, they has more stock and percentage. Oh. Oh. Okay. Mm. Makes it back. And I believe that. Yeah, that's it. We might need to see another wolf character come out in order to deal with this Sonic. Yeah, it's like mm, I've been missing that. That one video. Let me pick wolf. Uh, Sonic will go ahead and take that round. For sure.
All right, Leo. So, who do we have the pleasure of seeing next up on the fight? Uh, no, we still don't. Probably still has to go figure out who we're gonna see next. But I'll get you in a minute once and we get the information ready, and probably get our place ready. All right, as we go ahead and decide or figure out who's going up in the next match. Mm-hmm. All right, it looks like, and it's not clickbait this time, we are heading into the winner's finals. Yes, now we actually are in the winner's final. Opni Slice versus Arsenic. Now this is gonna be a best of five scenario, so the first person, so the first player to three wins, instead of the best of three, is gonna take this round. And it looks like it's gonna be a double random. Okay. All right, they wanna take it like that. Ooh, we're gonna see Terry versus Ooh. Rich. Terry. Two classic fighters. Mm -hmm. Very bold. I wonder if they made some sort of like pack off camp uh, in the background saying, yeah. hey, you want to do randoms? He's like, all right, sure, I'll do it. I'll do random, you do random. Mm -hmm. Hey, is, it one, is that where I want to go? Go ahead. All right, I see you going out with the picture and on to the third, you can see. Goes. You know, um, Terry just like uh, Rian Ken, he also has motion inputs that you can do. As oh. well, it's, it's also more critical for him. Because when he gets to like a hard percentage, he has like a go bar that you're going to see. And if he does the motion inputs, he gets to like a empower ability. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. As we figured out earlier from, uh, I believe it was Ken. Yeah. But Ken is not, not as critical as, uh, I mean, it's good, but he's not as critical to his kid as... Terry. Ooh, okay, Terry grabs the holy water, he uses it back to combo arsenic. Oh, there we go. He has a go bar. Now, the thing with both of them picking random is mm -hmm. you're, there's a, is a pool of about 79 characters. So your experience with a good bunch of, a good bet of them could be rather high, and your experience with a good the other half of them could be rather low. Yeah, exactly. So it's ver it's very interesting to see like how this match can play, and how the two players actually deal with the random characters they've been given. Mm -hmm. And so far, they seem to be doing working with them pretty well. As yeah, they, I mean, they look like they know how to play characters. It doesn't look like you know they just mashing buttons. Oh yeah. I mean, we are in the winners' final, so we expect to see these two players to keep strong performance. As they're not exactly what they're doing. As they're up 2 2. Mm -hmm. Oh, good fairy from Oh, no. Both characters kind of doing their standard yeah, I mean, attacks <laughs> against each other. I mean, the thing more with Richard and Simon, my two Castlevania boys, is that their whole game plan is I will zone you and hit you from far away by throwing <laughs> my cross, my axe, my holy water. You will get hit, and if you try to walk in, I will whip, uh, use, use my whip. Meanwhile, um, Terry plays more like a... There's something, a turn that we use in Street Fighter, it's called a Shoto, so, a Shoto. so it's more characters that have some good combos, but it can also have a little Sony, as you see Terry was turning like a... Right. ...the fire. Alright. Well, as we see Terry at a little bit of a disadvantage, down to his final stock. Yeah, I'll guess. Let's see, alright, back throw. Richard misses the throw. Ooh. Guess another throw, okay. I guess, I guess he's just making Terry a grappler. He, uh, the player playing Terry managed to find that button. <laughs> and he's definitely using it well. For sure. Okay, jab, jab, jab. <laughs> Even it up, one to one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right now, good luck at the game for Terry. He has advantage. He has right now the momentum going up for him. 
and he hasn't even got to his goal bar. So, ooh, that, ooh. yes, yes, it will. Going from such a close match as that one. Richard is in the the morning star to to wipe out uh, Terry out of the stage. Into such a quick finisher. Mm -hmm. I'm interested to see if they're gonna do a uh, double random again. Yeah. Very know. fascinating. Maybe we're gonna see the characters. Maybe Ooh. They, oh, oh, all right, there Ooh. we go. Double random again. This is gonna be this is definitely gonna be the highlight of the night right here. Double random. As we get as we get Pokemon Trainer versus Ice Climbers. Hmm. Okay, get some small berries. Pokemon Turn definitely being a very unique option in the, in terms of Smash, knowing how he ha you have three different characters you can work with. Oh yeah, you have Squirtle, you have Charizard, and Ivysaur. Ivysaur, yes. I guess I can't remember the, the name of the middle evolution. Sadly, everyone forgets Bulbasaur in his middle line, <laughs> which sucks because it's Bulbasaur. Ah, we like we like Ivysaur, Venusaur. The little cabbage Pokemon. <laughs> Ooh. All right, this is one of the ice climbers. That's 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 bad news for for Arsenic, cause I mean he misses up damage and he also misses recovery. And you know it looks like Pokemon Trainer is going relatively well with only Ivy Shore. Hmm. Haven't even had to bring out Squirtle or Charizard. All right, yeah, and, and as you see, as Ivysaur goes ahead in two v ones, the ice climbers. Yeah, I mean that's the thing. Once Popo and Nana like um, you lose their bond, whoever you, you take uh, of the twins you take out, you, it's kind of game over for them. It looks like this Pokemon trainer specifically prefers Ivysaur. As we just saw him switch from Charizard to Squirtle. Yeah, we haven't seen back to Ivysaur. Yeah, we haven't seen anything. I don't remember. I mean, I could be saying it wrong, but. Didn't they have the same properties as Pokemon? How like you know, I guess it gets tired. But I mean, I could be wrong, honestly. I just, I just said something from here for some reason. Anyway, going back to our match, Ice Climbers and to fight Ivysaur, but they can. The range on his uh on his whip as well as this on his uh, line whip. Yeah. Great tools. Oh, they back then. Yeah, that will do it. As Ivysaur is managing to hold his own against these two Ice Climbers, and it's funny knowing how in Pokemon, mm -hmm. usually an Ice type's good against a Grass type. Oh yeah, yeah, that's really funny. Uh, I don't. Know, it's so interesting seeing Omni Slide just sticking up with the Ivysaur. Normally, you will see uh, Pokemon, you know, uh, Pokemon turning and switching be and between the options between, you know, between uh, the three. Yeah, between the three, exactly. Especially being a crowd favorite, such as Charizard. Oh yeah, everyone loves Charizard. Knowing how he has... Oh, there we go. Nice. <laughs> if you follow any of the Pokemon cards, Charizard will usually have some Pokemon cards ranging in the thousands of dollars. Hmm. Right now, uh, Omni playing this right. Look how he's separating, uh, separating the two brothers. Oh. The two climbers. Yeah, yeah. the two climbers, yeah. Ooh. Climbers, Ooh. Nana, and... Oh. Ice Climbers definitely have to be a, a higher skilled character knowing how to deal with two people at once. Yeah. I mean, the other character is more like, well, this is like, a, it's a AI, but definitely you're, uh, it's annoying. It has some problems sometimes. Oh, yeah. Especially when you get separated, how we saw earlier. Ivysaur doing a good oh. job in controlling the battlefield. <laughs> and he got his purple back throw in. As That's the right. As Pokemon Trainer, and specifically Ivysaur, take it. Ivysaur putting on quite a show on showing the world, or anyone watching, that you don't want to mess with Bulbasaur's family. Yeah, he's like, you should have picked me. <laughs> All those times in Pokemon Red and Blue, that you went for, for Squirrel and, Char and Charmander, you picked the wrong Pokemon. You picked the wrong Pokemon. All right. What are we gonna see for right Ooh. now? On the third random in a row. Looks like this is gonna be the style for tonight's format. As oh, Kirby versus Larry, one of the king, uh, one of the Koopa kids. Yeah, the Koopa kids. Yeah. 
I'll run him into Persona stage Oof. mode. And Kirby immediately taking Larry's identity. <laughs> Definitely Kirby, a character that would seem straightforward, has a lot of variety to him, ex especially in how he can, he can essentially be every character in one. Yeah. With his absorption. Yeah, it's such, such a cool tool, and this has that really cute, I was seeing Kirby King um, form, depending who he had towards. Oh yeah. I don't know if you've seen this, but Kirby Sephiroth. Uh, <laughs> definitely, definitely one of my favorites. Yeah, with, with the Sephiroth head? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's, really, that's really funny. Ooh, the bomb. Yeah, definitely like how the Koopa kids have that this, uh, or you know, Master Genie, if you want. He yeah, says that, like, their kid is around, like, um, the clown. thing. The clown helicopter. And he said, everything right, the like little... around the Super Mario 3 yeah, the world. Little, yeah, the little carts they have. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. All right. As the score, it's completely it even. Yeah. Oh, okay. Keep it as a fairy. But you guys did. got to ride your punches for Larry. Definitely got a whole arsenal within that little Koopa card of his. Okay, there we go. The juggles. Larry just trying to make, stay on the, cage, on the stage, but Kirby's not having any of it. Kirby just making an absolute mincemeat out of Larry. Hmm. Oh, this is like a cannonball. Good thing about absorbing Larry at the very beginning of the match yeah. is Kirby now has a, a variety of attacks including close range and long range oh, with, yeah, that yeah. with that little cannonball of his. So making him a very hard target to you know, face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, both players can now play. If you could say that, that, long, that long range game, sun mm -hmm. each other out, just you know, throwing projectiles. Oh. As Kirby will go ahead and knock out Larry. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we got the dance. Victory dance. Ooh, someone says a replay. All right. Now, due to the characters picking random, it's a little hard to uh, actually know what the score, uh, what the proper score is right now. Um, if I remember, Arsenic won the first time with uh, Richard. Mm -hmm. Then Omnisai won with Ivysaur, and then he won, and then he won again. So I think it's like. Um, is it two to one? Two to one, I think. All right. Oh, okay. We got a like kind of traditional match. We got the our boy Ryu versus Little Mac. Ooh. A fight between fighters. Mm -hmm. Now going back to the fact that the motion inputs. So normally when uh, Ryu throws a normal Hadouken without the motion input, you will see a blue ball like that one. Yeah. But if you actually does the input, you'll see that fire, red fireball that we've seen right now. Ooh. Player out there is actually hearing you as he, he wanted to give you a quick little demonstration He's like, in the audience at home. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think I might have to go for a fairy, but that's good. Oh. Through. And it's gonna be go ahead and be the first stock out. All right, two to, uh, two, to two stocks. You can add the score. Now, going back to, I believe it was the tier list earlier, I believe you said Little Mac was on the lower end of that. Yeah. 
So that's definitely one of the disadvantages of doing the random random. As uh, you, you can get a character that's pretty low on there. Yeah, but I mean, it's nice you know how to play and it shouldn't be as bad as just, you know. Oh, yeah. That's the thing. The thing with the Max is like they made him like an actual boxer. Like his options. There's something like that in Street Fighter 2. There's a character that's a full boxer. He doesn't even have kicks, he just punches. Mm -hmm. But they suck at the air. Like, sure, they can punch in the air, but he doesn't have a cross up, doesn't have anything. Same thing with Little Mac. Strong neutrals, strong uh, buttons, like when he's standing, but when he jumps in the air, he goes all clunky and starts missing on. Exactly, as Little Mac is down to his last stock. Mm. Oh, show you. Oh, he can right through this stage. As Ryu, kind of just show him who's the better fighter right now. Who has the better street game? Oh. But Little Mac not having any of that. No, Little Mac uses the KO up with the Tatsu. <sighs> and the Tatsu takes it around, surprisingly. I thought it was going to touch into Shoryuken, but... Oh, as Ryu, you know, mm -hmm. he keeps his crown as the street fighting champion. <laughs> yeah, so I was winning this, uh, the street fighter competitions in some game. Are we in a 2-2 two -two right now? Uh, no. I think we're now in... A 3-1? Uh, what? Wait, what? Score? Yeah, uh, the score between the two. Uh, hold up. We'll be... Yeah, probably. Yeah, two -two. <laughs> I mean, if they keep if 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 going, yeah, they definitely is a 2-2. Two -two. Because I know... I guess we're gonna see another match. Oh! No, yeah, that was it, that was it. Because now we're gonna see. Ooh, stepping away from the randoms, going with the Sonic vs. Wolf. Now we're gonna see Negative Stone versus uh, Arsenic. Now, Sonic has been a quite a force to be reckoned with tonight, but Wolf being one of the actual only characters to be able to counter him. Hmm. I'm curious to see if how this fight's gonna go and if Sonic or Wolf's gonna take it. You know, now I'm looking back, this is, uh, this is funny because, yeah, if I'm correct, we've seen these two fighters, uh, you know, fight each other and, and our Sonic was the one who sent uh, Negative Sun to the Lucy Tracker. Ooh. I think, right? With that wolf counter uh, pick we um, that earlier, we can we can probably clarify that. But that that'd be quite interesting seeing these two back at it again. As both, as both characters are just basically testing the waters with each other. Yeah, I mean, trying I, to find out how the other one plays. Yeah, just like right now, I mean, they already fight each other before, so just trying to catch again. I guess the tempo, or the play style. You know, that's why you see a lot of wolves trying to get in, trying to hit that mm -hmm. the nasty little blue hedgehog. And nobody is just just saying his words, not mine. <laughs> He has been quite a scene on tonight. Mm -hmm. As he's been able to take out quite a couple of combatants, including someone like Bowser. But as Fox goes ahead and eventually takes the first stock on Sonic. Yeah. Oh, well, you gonna take it back by the way or not? I'm trying to get back, trying to even uh, score really fast. He doesn't want Wolf to use to get uh, some damage out of it of the uh, third stock. Any damage Wolf can put on Sonic now. Yeah, without dying, that's gonna be great. They put him in the lead. Mm -hmm. Oh! Ooh. And Wolf getting the actual stock, the second stock off of Sonic while he's still on his third. Well, he still has all three. 
Yeah, I'm telling you, like, ever since I've seen a Sonic play, he's, uh, edge guard. At some point, right as I say it. I don't, once again, prove my point. Deadly. Deadly, deadly. You can't like, go, jump out of the stage. And gentlemen, if you didn't believe it at first, I think that match was a clear given that Wolf is a, is a pretty solid counter towards Sonic. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. So far, he's been working on. Maybe, I don't know if he's a player team, but so far, Wolf has been doing pretty good. Wolf first Falcon now. All right. See how that goes. A match between two creatures, two rather apex predators. <laughs> one of land, one of sky. Mm. Well, one more being more of a name in the, of the title and the other one actually being one. <laughs> Fair, but the other one can punch really hard. Oh yeah, he does have the fucking punch. Legendary move from the punch. But you know what, it really stands for a lot, because how many people can say they've been punched by a falcon? <laughs> no one, except people he's beat up. Exactly. Is that either that, or you get hit by the knee of justice? Oh, yeah. As Wolf is going to go ahead and take the first stock off off, off the captain. Back jump from Captain Falcon. That's dumb. Wolf. I don't get anything out of it. Wolf managed to punish that side B from Falcon. But yeah. Falcon gets the last set A. That trade. Captain not showing. He's not out of the fight. Instead, he's just getting into it as the uh, score's even up. Oh, there we go. That's one thing I, I like about Captain Falcon. Those juggles he can do with his, uh, with the kicks in there. <laughs> what? Ooh. But Wolf's gonna go ahead and take the second stock. Now, the thing with Falcon is, mm -hmm. um, more preferably his game. F, I believe it's F0. Oh, yeah, it's, more of a, it's more of a racing game more than anything, <laughs> and, but I would say he has more of a presence in Smash Bros. than his own actual game. Yeah, because the things like the F-Zero games were prominent, um, like in the you know, back in the day, you could say. And then they just they stopped making games. The last game that he, uh, for F-Zero was in the GameCube. Yeah. And yeah, pretty much... Alright. <laughs> Our Sank takes it around with Wolf and... And right now we're 2 0. We were Sonic. Uh, but going back, uh, Captain Falcon's identity is more. To, uh, nowadays more uh, connected to Smash Bros. than what he is in F Zero. Yeah. That's a little bit of a shame, but you know, mm -hmm. it's places where in Smash Bros. where a character can, like. They get they can come back to life in certain ways. Yeah. Characters you may have forgotten about. Hey, mm -hmm. you want to play as them? For all time, Shake. Time's sake. Alright, but let's see. Right now, if we can. Uh, negative Zero can use that. Can revive that Falcon right now and win against Arsenic's Wolf. Let's see if the captain can best the beast known as Wolf. Now, Wolf has been a very specific character tonight who's been really strong. And I feel like I haven't been talking about him enough, but he's just like, he's coming here mm -hmm. and he just put on a show where he's just taking oh, yeah, he just... all these strong, famous characters out. Yeah, no, he's good character and good uses from our Sang, using him in all his matches. It's interesting how, you know, we barely saw him at the beginning of the tournament, but, you know, once, like, once he reaches that Sonic, it's like, nah, nah. Oh, yeah. Gotta bring the pocket wolf. Oh, the falcon punch, it whips it. What does it matter? Gets it back to against the wolf. Plus, how, um, that sort of dash towards the ledge he does mm -hmm. is very powerful. And it can throw a lot of people off if they're waiting to, you know, catch you mm -hmm. if you're falling off.
Cat and Falcon hurt very badly while Wolf's still relatively good on health. Yeah, I mean, Wolf is playing like these other, um, like Starfort's, uh, buddies or arch rivals and just going in, getting some damage, coming you, doing combos left and right, and also, uh, while well, still having a, good, a decent amount of mobility, but at the same time, arm, uh, you know, some quality of heavy. Oh yeah, definitely. Just Wolf has been a, a dominant figure on the stage tonight. Yeah. No one's really been able to hard counter him. Yeah, I mean, yeah, from what we've seen, like, Wolf hasn't really, like, I don't think he has us one with Wolf. I mean, we've seen him take on the annoyance that was Sonic. Right now mm -hmm. he's fighting Captain Falcon. And... Did he fight Bowser? I forget. I don't believe so, but... No, no, no. That the, was Sonic. The one that was, yeah, that was Sonic. Yeah. But Fox is having great control oh. over the edge as he gets it over Captain Falcon. Alright, yeah, this should be, uh, this should be it, as uh, the second moves are along, and, yeah, because that was 3-0. Alright, so we're Alright, so right now we're gonna see uh, the grand finals. We got Ugly Slash versus Arsenic. So, if I'm not mistaken, this is it. Yeah, the grand finals. So, or is Joker. now is the grand finals best of five or best of three? Nah, uh, it should be, yeah, best of five. Alright. Oh, wait, um, you know, whoever gets, it should be the normal, whoever gets uh, three victories. Alright, yeah. as we see Joker versus Ken. Yeah, so best of five, best of three. And the thing is, uh, for Arsenic, since he's in the loser's bracket, I'm pretty sure he's in the loser's bracket, uh, he needs yeah, to I'm win the twice. Yeah. Meaning that he needs to get six wins against. Ooh. Against Ugly. Which, you know, it's gonna be kinda tough and kinda draining fighting the same uh, person as the other person that has more room to mess around and figure out your playstyle. Exactly. As Ken will go ahead and take the first stock on Joker. <laughs> now, correct me if I'm wrong, but is Joker the only character in the game to actually have like a form of gun, like a gun? Yeah, I think so. Not even Snake, because... I, mean, I know Snake has, like, his rocket launcher. Yeah, he has rocket launchers, but mortar and grenades, but... Yeah, I think Joke is, like, the first one to actually just, like, pull up a okay. gun, a pistol, and just, like, you know, use it. Very interesting knowing how this is, uh, from Nintendo. <laughs> yeah, they don't let Snake have it, which, I mean, Snake, like, he uses the pistol a lot. But... Yeah, we put it to good effect. Mm -hmm. 
Even I was like seven percentage, but can't guess this dog. That shot of privilege, that damage. Has to like this stage. Oh, focus. Can cancel. Oh. As Joker goes ahead and cleans it up, so it's one one, basically even. Can come down to either one of them at this point. Relatively low on health, rather high in percentage. Ooh, Ooh. but right, our Sammy gets the first, gets the first game of the of the finals. There we go, Morgana, right? Little cat, going joking around. <laughs> For a second, I thought they both gonna pick uh, Joker. <laughs> It's like, oh, no. No, no, a mirror match. That would be interesting. Yeah, that would be funny. But we are going ahead and going back with the same characters as we have Ken fighting off against Rock Joker once more. As we are in the finals, we have seen a wide variety of characters uh, from the roster, but you know, looking at it, we've hardly made a dent. There's still so many names, so many big oh, yeah, names. Many characters that we missed. There's sure. so many big names on this roster that haven't even had a chance to come out tonight, like Pikachu, yeah, we saw, like, uh, Link, actual Link. We saw Doctor Mario, but we never saw the real Mario. Oh, that's true. We never seen. We didn't see Wario. Yeah. Mewtwo's. A lot of the. A lot of like the more bigger names. Oh yeah. Besides like Sonic. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know. It's not about them. It's about Ken and Joker. Omni versus Arsene. Starting to see who wins the grand finals of the first tournament ever at FAU. As Ken will go ahead and knock Joker out. Making the score 2 2. Oh, guess the fairy. Daigo fairy. Oh. Yeah, I find it uh, interesting how this show Yuki doesn't look like it has that much movement up, but it has a lot of range. It makes can recover a lot more than he's finding like straight down than for example. But oh, yeah, he can get a lot too. of he can get a lot of utility from it. Mm -hmm. I buy, uh, final stack for both players to be it for the second round, for game two. Stocks one to one, they're both relatively at zero percent. Yeah, it's like the new game, we just want stock. Both combats relatively like keeping it even. Mm -hmm. Right now, uh, just Joke is taking the can for a ride, just, and it was just juggling at the beginning, even can you up to six, 68, and now can is at 80. Dangerous. And Joker's own has enough bar. Oh, and there we go. There are some activations on. Deadly. Deadly. Use so many options as well. Better recovery for Joker. Taken. Joker just trying to get like as much small damage on Ken as possible safely. Only to go ahead and. And then just. What I can imagine. Punch. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh. Which there it is. Yeah, there was as it. Joker will go ahead and 2 0 it. Mm hmm. All right, if Joker Arsenic, wins one more time, we could see a, a reset on the bracket, meaning that he needs to win three more times to win the tournament, but that gives also Omni, Omni uh, uh, Lex another chance for him to, you know, to catch up 
and re and win. So I know this could be a deciding match, depending to see if we see a uh, reset or not. So stay tuned, guys. Exactly. As it looks like we're gonna yeah, stick with the same design. characters. Nothing to see here, just some good old Ken versus Joker. As both players feel relatively comfortable with these guys, they don't feel a need to switch. A nice little heavy hit on him. Mm -hmm. If he was a little higher on percentage, that probably would have got him. Yeah. If he just if just is one show you can conversion, yep. That's it. Now just to clarify, mm -hmm. Joker needs to win this match in order to reset the bracket. Correct? Yeah. Cause right now since Joker is standing the losers. He needs to has to go win one more time to send um, Omni's Omni's legs to losers with him, and now they can have a like you know another one first, final match. Yeah, one final match, like uh, another first two, oof. first two, three or best of five, however you want to call it. You can. That would have been huge if he was in. Oh. He would have done that. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, for all the people that haven't played in Street Fighter, it's a trend that whenever you see a camp player, not in, not in Smash or Street Fighter, they just spam the Shoryuken. Every just single time. They're on wake up, Shoryuken. They're getting combo, sh just keep trying Shoryuken until they get an opening. Just love it. As Ken has a little bit of a lead. If he can widen this gap, he can actually manage to come back on Joker. Oh, okay. What is this? Actually, that makes a But Joker needs this one in order to reset the bracket if he wants a chance to win. Yeah. The whole thing. Oh. As Joker's gonna go ahead and even it up as they both have one life left. On the 60s, can go into the 70s all the way to the 80s. So I'm getting burnt out by Joker. Oh, oh, Ooh. all right. Looks like we're going for a bracket reset. As is now, mm -hmm. it can go either way, as yeah. both players are evened. Yeah, I mean now that now that we got the bracket reset, both uh, players start back at zero. Mm-hmm. Which, I mean, still gives a chance for uh, for Omni to come back. But usually, from what I remember from a friend, uh, so uh, right now, uh, Arsen has, Arsenic has the advantage, like, you know, he has the momentum going. He's been winning three games back to back, and now he just got the, uh, the reset. Yeah, if he can win three more, mm -hmm. that's it, he wins. So this is the, fi this is the final match, mm -hmm. best of five, first person of three wins takes the crown and takes the first ever uh, fighters tournament from FAU.
As Ami's gonna stay ahead and pick, stay, pick with Ken, uh, stick with Ken. Now, Omni had three games to sort of learn how uh, Joker plays. Mm -hmm. So, his best bet is to try and to remember how he played in the final, in the original three matches, in order to finish, uh, in order to take the win for himself. Because yeah. right now, Joker seems to have him in a corner, taking three wins in a row. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you can see, like, every time he just jokes, he keeps him better and better. Maybe he's just like, the game was uh, just getting used to that Ken matchup, but so far it feels like I said it has like a good grasp of what's going on right now. And now we, uh, Omni can just hope to have to go to just catch up and uh, get a better understanding what to do against Joker because right now it's not, it's not going well in his favor. Not looking good for Omni playing Ken as he's down to his final stock while Joker's mm -hmm. sitting pretty with all yeah, three of his. He's like, oh, I'm perfectly there. I got, got my stand in the back. It's, I'm chilling. Yeah. You go gun, gun. Oh, guess a, guess a good pair from like shot. Okay, no, should he convert him? Maybe too far away to convert? Ooh, okay. Ken at least not going down with a fight without a yeah. fight. At least he's not getting three star, which is usually unique. I mean, and he's not, you know, a good look getting three star, but hey. If Ken can at least figure out. Uh, Joker's basically attack plan, mm -hmm. attacks, combos, then even if he loses this match, he can still come back in the remaining matches. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Okay, I'm not gonna come back. Ooh, not looking good after getting, after getting the hit. Not looking good. As I'm gonna go ahead and take the first round of mm -hmm. the reset. Yeah, two more games and that's it. We we'll see a full has like a comeback from uh, our standing from the loser bracket. Is Omni gonna make a change? Because right now it doesn't seem like Ken's working for him, yeah. having gone 0 and 4 against the uh, Joker. But the question is, does he have another character that he can rely on to play that the is, same level as Ken? That as is true. the answer to Joker. Maybe not. Maybe he just needs to bring in something new. But it doesn't look like he's sticking with the Ken. Mm -hmm. He's putting all his marbles on it. Double down on the can pick. If Omni wants to actually take uh, the tournament, he needs to figure out Joker's plan, his combos, and sort of get around them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just had to think about it because um, one big part about fighting games, not only just the combos of that, but also there's like a man ga mind game. Because, mm -hmm. you know, you got to think about it like you do the same thing over and over so you get the other person used to it. And then you change it up, and they're like, hold up, what's going on? So he's trying to like, to make the other person guess wrong, or get them used to something, and then you're punishing them for it. Yeah, and Joker's doing a great job on keeping Ken guess guessing on what he's going to do next. Yeah, it's just like, I mean, Joker has so many options, he has so much range, uh, you know, with his guns, and then the stand, more damage, good recoveries. So that Ken is failing to do anything. Just keeps getting hit by Joker. This can't really seem to pin Joker down. Mm-hmm. Mm, trying to hit him with the uh, short you can Joker just to recover back to the ledge. Oh, alright. Two to the shit on. Ooh. As Joker will go ahead and take the first knock off Ken. Mm -hmm. Oh, and following up that quickly. Yeah, that's... That's gotta hurt for Ken, for Omni. Oh, 
Okay, so you can just uh, suck from the Joker. But not not only just one shuriken, he's more than that if he wants to come back and win take back his place. He's gonna need to land a barrage if he's gonna have any chance. Yeah. Well my sweet fire fans my man needs to pull a demon demon rage on him if he wants to win. Use that dark side from the from his martial arts if he wants to win. So there are no items, so you're not you can't rely on like a final smash or anything oh, like yeah, that. Oh yeah, for sure. Definitely not look I don't think he's looking up for that. Yeah. They just them one on one. Mm -hmm. Ooh, misses the conversion. That's one thing that is coming from the Shuriken. Well it's you know, big damage, a lot of range. Once you miss it, Ooh. he's telling your opponent like, hey, hit me. But Ken, you know, even it up one to one, even if he is pretty critical. Mm -hmm. Oh, as Joker go ahead and take the second game. Yeah, game three. This could be it. Now, at the end there, we did see Ken making a little bit of a comeback on Joker. Yeah, could this be the adaptation that Omni needed? This c better hope so, because this could potentially be the final game of the night. Yeah, could be the. Are we going to see the change or no? Will we see the change? No. We keep staying all games. Re How is this a Ryan Ken? As the two Ken players. and Joker. As it seems like we've found the mains of these two. As they are sticking everything they have on these guys. Alright, this could be it for Omni. Needs to win this. No pressure whatsoever. Now, like I said, in the last game, he seemed to be getting a better feel for Joker. If he can pull it off in this game, he would need he would still need to do it two more times afterwards. Yeah, he just the bad thing is like well he got that uh, how's it called? Uh, revelation or better understanding of the Joker. He still did it way too late at, you know, in his final stock. Oh yeah. Which you know makes everything harder. As Joker goes ahead and could pull basically a reverse sweep if he wins this match. Going from a complete disadvantaged at the start to looking okay. pretty nice. Okay, I'm getting, um, yeah, finally you can stand in the game with taking a stock from Joker. Both characters playing on the edge. Yeah, as I was saying, Ken seems to be having like a better feel for the Joker. Yeah. As if he can make, if he can keep this up, he has a real shot in actually making a comeback. Okay. Oh my God. I can. They're just playing on the ledge. They just, they just want to get spiked. They want to get a meteor smash out of the stage. And now in our make it like he's really good at guarding the ledge. Can we blend these games around him? As, as Joker goes ahead and puts it up to a 2-2. Mm -hmm. All right, keep going. Mm. My God. All That's Omni needs to do now is keep his cool, mm -hmm. not get too cocky, and keep up the pressure onto Joker. Yeah, no, that's the thing. Like in a fighting game, when you start getting nervous, it's over. You need to, you know, you just keep fighting like the best of your ability without like you know losing control or getting nervous. Mm -hmm. If Ken can keep this up, he is a real. He still has a real shot. Yeah. It's not over yet. Getting that advantage. Oh, this is it, guys. Ooh. Final stock. The winner could be the side in this match. If Ken goes down right now, Joker wins it. The whole yeah. thing. Yeah, the whole thing, yeah. But if Ken wins... We keep we going. Might, yeah, we keep going until we get, I get some, uh, someone to win. Harry. Oh. Ken doing quite a lot oh, of damage to Joker. 
as both characters are very high damage. Oh, this is it. Ken makes it. As nice. Ken Do makes I? the recovery. I don't know. He did good. You see, what he did is uh, this mechanic from one of the Super characters called Focus, which is like a move that gives you armor, and he used it to bait a punch, and then, you know, punch um, Joker back, which stuns him, and just free up a gun. Yeah. If Ken can keep a performance like that, then we could see a comeback after that reverse sweep. I went out 2 1. And you know what? Now we see if, if he keeps picking Joker, Joker actually feels a little bit of pressure. Yeah. It could be like, um, cause you know, it, it, it always happens, especially like at the finals. Mm -hmm. you, you've been like destroying this player for so, like, I don't want to say anything, but you know, you've been winning, having such dominance, but then you lose. And maybe you just get nervous, like, hold on, how am I losing? Yeah, it could and, shatter your confidence. Exactly. exactly. Because it, it, it can go both ways. Either the loser can start feeling helpless, or the one who started getting nervous, like, hold up, how am I losing? Mm -hmm. It's just a, while it's a fighting game, a lot of it is, like, on the mind. Keeping yeah. your cool, keeping track of your opponent, and essentially just trying to outsmart them. Yeah, it's just like, at, uh, at a basic level, sometimes, like, you know, yeah, oh, yeah, I know how to do combos, I do this. But when you reach like the higher level than you are right now, it's more about like, you know, the strategies, the mental, and you know, especially the uh, this person will be playing a tournament back to back for hours. Must, they must be exhausted, especially now in the finals where they have to take everything. Oh, very much so. As, as both characters are really damaged at this point, well over a hundred. Yeah, and it just kind of goes flying by. As Joker will get the first stock. Ken really needs to land a powerful hit here just to even things up before Joker gets like an even bigger lead on him right now. Which sadly seems to be the case for Ken as his damage keeps rocketing it up. Yeah. More and more damage. Oh, this is not looking good. Not looking good for Ken. One more stock and this could be it. As Joker basically just said, I let you have the one, but now I'm playing for real. Yeah, it's, it's like, like it's like that one moment where you know you just have a guy leaning back in the chair, just kind of casually yeah. playing, and then he loses, and then he lurches forward. Like, okay, yeah. now it's go yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, it's like hold up. Now it's actually play, I, I get to relax. Now it's go time. Mm -hmm. As Joker not t put, not yeah, keeping not anything dying. on the table. I'm surprised the Joker should have died, especially when the okay. I was about to say, especially when the Ken hit in with the short Yuken earlier, he should have been instant dead, but hey. Joker. Still standing and got a little. Joker has a fire. solid lead. Mm -hmm. You know, Ken, Ken's not out. He's managed to, if he can keep the damage high, keep the pressure on Joker from this point on. Then, you know, we could, it, we could still see oh. anything. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, the stand is done. And, uh... Oh, oh Ken's no, no, still no, no, alive! No. Never mind. And, ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. Hmm? Ooh. Oh. It's going uh. to All right, something's going to move it up, but... Luckily, I mean, that happened luckily, at the back. Yeah, yeah that happened at the end, and yeah, we know. As the screen freezes on <laughs> more Joker's more wind screen. Yeah. Well, we have a we are setting wins the first ever tournament in, in FAU. Talked about mm -hmm. once again, the student union. Be sure to how it's it called. Follow them, support them at the on all social media. Uh, yeah, all social media, Twitter, Insta, uh, Twitter on how's it called. Uh, FAU Gaming Center for Discord and mm -hmm. for social media will be yeah, the FAU Student Union. And if you want to 
come over here, play a couple games. We have a whole PC lineup over in the other room, mm -hmm. along with free space filled with TVs where you can bring your own consoles. If you want to relax, play with some friends, and just enjoy some video games. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys enjoyed this tournament as well as we did, because I sure did. Oh, it was a blast. That was, the end was like, I don't, I don't know what to tell. That end was actually really good, mm -hmm. knowing how Joker was in a complete disadvantage, how knowing how he had to win six fights. Exactly. But he managed to pull it off, he got the reset, through. and then won three more times. Are we good? All right. All right. Well, this is Leo and Nick, and we're signing up, and we thank you so much for joining us tonight. And we hope to see you next time. Mm -hmm. Have a good one.